How did this all come about? When did you two become friends? Let's let's roll it back a couple of years and I let feel our this audience is our true know. Hollywood story. Yeah, this is our true Hollywood story. How did this start? How did this friendship start? Okay, so I like I feel like Annie and I were at a place in comedy where we both kind of knew who the other one was. And I like had heard she'd come to the comedy store and she got passed right away. And I was really excited to meet her because she's this like young, hot funny comics i'm like ooh, like i want to see her boobs or something <laughs> so i saw her in the hallway How disappointed you must have been <laughs> i saw her in the hallway and like right away i just like locked eyes with her and, and i i think i what did i i think i pulled your shirt off i believe you pulled my tits out or you pulled yours out like i i, I remember feeling like you were trying to like shock me and I was like bitch wrong girl and like pulled my tits out too or pulled yours out right I yeah I just felt like oh I know this girl is gonna be down I can just tell from her energy like there is no shocking her like I just knew that I I, I could tell but we had the same manager so we mm. both had this manager back in the day our first one of our first daddies <laughs> hi Hollywood daddy um sorry we fired you <laughs> I just can't believe your name dropping a Why person not? we fired. It's, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But he, so when I saw you at the comedy store, you're very obvious who you are because he had sent me your, your like reel at one point. And then I watched a bunch of your stuff and you're so little and your name was little Esther that it wasn't like I was going to forget who you were, your name or anything. So I remember going up to you and going, oh, we have the same manager. And then you were great. I mean, the tits were out immediately. It was fast friends. Yeah, it was fast friends. And it was also fast enemies <laughs> because this story takes a turn. <laughs> so, Kalila, it could be you one day. <laughs> I can't wait for that day. But also, I I hope it's a long time from now. Yeah. Well, you know what I want to know is what is your what are your early memories of me? Because I also remember clicking with you right away, like seven or eight years ago, whatever it was, when I was do opening for Bobby at the Irvine Improv. And it was the first time I met you. And I just, I remember liking you right away, knowing not to be too, too aggressive. But, and then I, and then uh, I. Imagine thinking when you meet someone of like what the move is. Just imagine being like, I don't want to come on too much of this or that. Oh, she's, look at her. <laughs> just plan, planning it all at she's home. Just, do, 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 do. <laughs> but then I learned you were a nurse. So you were, so I'm like, oh, she's. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just the idea that I just imagine you finding out she was a nurse and you're like, sweet. Now I can complain to her about all my ailments. And that's been our entire friendship. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of our beginning, too. And then when I was in on a tour in Australia and New Zealand and I got sick, I just remember I was texting with you every day and you were helping me. And I was like, I just was like, oh, me and Kyla are like, we're in this forever. <laughs> Wait, but I need to know, what is your first memory of me? Like, do you have any... Yeah, the first the first thing you said to me, you didn't introduce yourself. You didn't say who you were. I, I went into the green room and you're like, do you want to see my boobs? Do you remember that? You have one move. <laughs> but you because you're calculated, you knew to with her to ask. And with me, you just assaulted me. But you didn't ask to see mine in return. But I know I was trying. She I was angling that, for it. Yeah. That was my tactic. Did I get to see your boobs? Are I, you going to come out in the first episode or are we going to like <laughs> tease it for a while? Um, I don't think you've ever. I, I now regret never showing you my fake boobs because you don't have any reference for what they looked like before and what disaster, how disastrous they look now. That's, There's no way they look disastrous. Yeah. Well, so, consider this. I had double D's smashed into little A cups. There is some skin stretch. stretch. There is stretch, but I guess it's probably not that. But much. I guess because I only had them for two years, um, the skin kind of like held up its integrity. Do you want to show me in the back room, and when I can come back and say what I think? I. <laughs> Why does it have to be a back room? Like it's so <laughs> creepy. It can't be a front room. It has to be a back room. Oh, you're. So that's how Esther and I met. Were you threatened by me at all? Were you like, oh, keep her away from my Imagine man? Being threatened <laughs> by Esther. Well, did you like me? Did you, what did you think? I just thought that you were as close of a version to Bobby as I'd ever met. Because I'd met other comics at that point. And I was like, huh, Bobby sort of like stands in his own lane. He is just this, he is just who he is. Until I met you, I was like, oh, they're the same kind. They're cut from the same cloth. So you thought. She's I calling you fat. <laughs> <laughs> so so you thought I was a lot like your boyfriend? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and so I felt very what's the opposite of the most threatened? I felt secure, very safe. very I wouldn't even say secure. I just felt very um 
okay with your existence in the green room. Thank you. And immediately I found you really funny. Really? Yeah, because I saw your set. Oh, that night. she's look, she's she saw your set. <laughs> that's really now that's was odd. she riffing? <laughs> I can't imagine it was her jokes. <laughs> Annie, on the other hand, I was super intimidated by. Well, when did we what? first meet? I remember seeing you at the comedy store, but I don't know if we met. Maybe we just we never met, like, got really introduced fast. until we yeah. did uh, Tiger Belly. Okay. Properly, but I had seen you there maybe twice, and I remember you wearing all black with like a black leather jacket. Yeah, my your friend skin died. Was, just <laughs> your skin was like snatched to the heavens. Your eyes had a really perfect like upturned angle. Mm. You had a really like you had a lot of bass in your voice, and I was like, oh gosh, I need to stay away. And this is this is a slow. This is gonna this is gonna happen slowly and organically. I can't force it. Isn't that interesting? Her first instinct was stay away. <laughs> isn't it interesting? Her first instinct was you remind me of my Asian boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so yeah, I remember thinking, holy shit, is she? I remember asking Bobby. I was like, is she uh, just a super hot girl who's someone's girlfriend, or is she a comic? Because I couldn't imagine. A I was comic hoping being you were going to ask hot. if I booked the club. A super hot girl. This is so fun. You know, I always thought I was ugly until recently. Oh. Bobby has a um, has a gift for all of us for Chinese New Year. Oh, oh my God. Oh Happy wow. Chinese New Year. Thank you. We've got some durian fruit. What? Yeah. Oh. Fancy durian fruit. Has it ever been living? It looks like it was something that was alive once. Yeah, it was living. I just killed it. But I cut myself right here cutting it. Come here, babe. Come to me. Come to me. And uh, have you had durian fruit? Before? No. Come on to Mike. Come on to Mike. Between mango and vomit. Ew, Bobby. <laughs> so, um, Talk here. Hi. Here, let me hold this. Uh huh. Tell us what you have. Said nice well, this me. right here is durian fruit. Here, Mike is right there. <laughs> This right here is durian fruit, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just assume a mango was in Vegas, right? He had no money, and he prostituted himself to get a ticket back home. I feel like a mango's a girl, Bobby. Obviously, right? And um, it's basically if you know a mango um, could take a shit. That's what it is. Do you like it? No, I fucking hate it. And it's Why do you have it? Eat it. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to eat it. So, well, listen. All right, once a year, my people have a new year. Okay? So do my people. I, exactly, right? <laughs> and so, um, for me, it's like... it's. I'm you. Oh, don't touch me. Well, I'm describing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, um, once a year, my people, um, we celebrate by eating a durian fruit and... Um, White people um, are very um, much welcome, and um, it, first smell it if you, if you can. I smell it from here. It's you're gonna smell it from closer. Uh, you it's know I'll eat it. I'm down. Yeah, you're gonna smell it closer. I want to watch Annie eat it. No, Esther, you have to do it something. It looks like chicken. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. It's not that bad. It starts as mango, but then it goes yeah, foul. It, goes it goes into bad foot really soon. Well, Look. Okay, so I Annie, you eat it. Oh, it looks like mustard. Oh no, we need it. We need everybody to take a taste. Yeah, with your hand. Yeah, grab some. It looks like I feel like army army hammer. This is like very fleshy. All right. All right. It smells. It smells like fermented. Yeah, it smells fermented. She's eating it. Look, I'm from the Philippines. This is my fruit, and even I can't eat it but i'm gonna do it today she's eating it it's annie. like a savory it tastes delicious yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course to you annie i like it you do yeah what you spray your hand for look what i do i like you. it my fucking hands cut up because of the fucking durian bitch <laughs> <laughs> i cut my shit up oh i want another one yeah, yeah. i don't know what just part just take this part it's the gizzard <laughs> <laughs> the gizzard part of it. The gizzard. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good it smells so bad. Give me more. I want more. You spoil little brat. <laughs> it's like garlicky. Oh, it's in your mouth. Oh, Put it in oh, mouth. Oh, <laughs> no, eat it. No. Oh, I don't don't eat smell it. Just eat it. It smells like fucking garlic. What? Why garlic? <laughs> fucking eat it. I you eat like garlic on your fucking sugar fish, you bitch. Spoil little brat. Eat it. Put it in your mouth and swallow it now. It tastes like onion. I don't like it, Bobby. I don't care. It's my fucking people. All right. Here, give me more. Here, let me have some, babe. It tastes like a fucking like slimy onion. You know, you're a super smeller, Esther, and it is pretty. Super smeller. It's pretty um 
Eat way more than that, babe. Babe, Prove I'm s- your point. Babe, listen Prove to me. <laughs> I'm going double. Yeah, I want more. Eat a whole way, babe. Eat a whole chunk. Oh, I just have to hold my. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. The taste does stay with you for a while, then. I like that. Yeah, yeah. George. You know, I, I, I actually I like it. That this is what comes out of Joy Diaz's dick. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm really I'm sick. Wait, I'm, really sick. I'm really sick. I'm really sick. It doing, does look like it does look like the I'm insides of a ball. Well. It looks like yeah. it I looks like a I'm castration. Not, I'm, not, I'm not, not doing well. I'm doing I'm great. Yeah. yeah. What, is this real? Is this, this is from my country? Oh, and I'm I'm gonna, get away. Get away. Right right no, please don't bother me. Honestly, I just leave it right here because my fucking hands cut up and I have a sore throat. I had to wake up early. I have to take a nap. Babe, I've been take it with you. Fucking day to do this fucking Dorian thing. I'm taking a nap right now. Babe, you gotta take it away. I can't take deal it with away. it. All right, I'll take it. I'll take, take it. it away. All right. Take it away. I'll put it right <sighs> up in here. Right. No, no, not near me. <laughs> guys, guys, I genuinely liked it. Yeah, it is so yeah. look at my face. Yeah, I am not. Yeah. I completely. I. I like understand what? that you guys don't have this experience. What? I've hated it since I was a kid. Who the yeah. fuck? Wanted this, to do this. It was my idea, and it was it backfired. Let me take it outside. Bobby, no. Chunk, if you honestly, okay, sweetie, right, I knew Annie would like it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I genuinely thought you were gonna vomit on the camera. No, I genuinely thought that I was down for this because I'm like, this is from my country. Right. I should be, I should have a predisposition to liking it, and I know that I I hated it growing up. But I just thought, okay, like, I'm an adult now. I can eat. And I can eat anything, by the way. Like, I eat, like, I eat anus. <laughs> I cannot eat a durian for the rest of my life. That almost, like... You were really hurting. I was... I'll never recover. I'll never be the same. I would rather eat Bobby's anus than <laughs> eat another bite of I that. do have a feeling they all taste very similar. <laughs> I, you know what? They don't. Bobby's anus does is infinitely infinitely less putrid so that was our episode i do you want to take your mask off cannot take my mask off because the <laughs> fucking smell of that thing that you made us try i'm right here <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why i liked it it smells a lot and tasted like my hoagie armpits <laughs> Um, but you guys, thanks for listening. And what do we say? I don't Just know. subscribe, smash, smash mm-hmm. the likes, comment below. Share about it on your socials. Tell your friends. We'll repost you on our at Bloodbath Girls Instagram. Bloodbath Girls. Follow us on the gram. And we'll be back with more disgusting <laughs> Kalilah's things. Kalilah's family in it. It really was. I mean, you did handle it worse as someone that has grown up with it. And that's why I'm so sorely disappointed in myself. Is like, I know for sure Esther's going to go down for this one, and and, and she didn't. (laughs) She actually stood proud. Well, I can't believe I even licked it. Like, I was, it was a hard no, but Bobby was fucking screaming at me and Mm. scaring me. I'm going to order some. I'm going to get some. You know what? You might try durian candy, it's not as strong. Leave me out of it. Yes, you thanks, guys. guys. Follow us on Instagram or something. I want to apologize for Esther. <laughs> uh, can I, I want to change the subject. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago, I went home mm-hmm. to visit my family, and I got a text from a guy that I was really, really close friends with in high school. Like, we, you know, my senior year, we just, like, we hung out all the time, whatever. We were just really good friends. And he was like, hey, I'm in Skokie too. Do you want to hang out? So I went to his house. We went for a walk. And he's like, I, I want to tell you something. And I'm like, what? He's like, I had a crush on you all of high school. And I was like, what? Like, it just changed everything. But he took you, you guys went out for him just to say this? Like, he had it in his head to I'm not just sure. get it off his chest? I, I don't know. Put your coat back a little. So this like changed my i feel like this changed everything for me because i'm like whoa like a guy liked me like i just never felt like guys were into me and then he reminded me of something that i completely forgot he did finger me once (laughs) and he told me that when he was fingering me he started kissing me and i asked him to stop kissing me and to just said just finger me that's a boss move babe and i was like i can't believe i did that that's so like prostitute level but i completely blocked it out that is boss level 
I I think maybe you're Cause, right. Because kissing is so intimate to me that it's like if I'm strictly wanting something sexual from you, there's a good chance we'll never even kiss. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to see your fucking face. Get down there. Do the thing. If I don't want to kiss you, I can't do anything with you. Well, I think it, by the way, if it was reversed and the guy was like, don't kiss me and just jerk you me off. You would say, I know. I, I know. I think that'd be good. You'd say, I understand. <laughs> But anyways, I feel like I like left this weird imprint on him. And now like because in high school at this like important time, I said, like, don't kiss me. Yeah, that that could be traumatic. I understand that. Yeah. When you're you, like when you're just far, first starting getting sexual and then someone says something. I st didn't get chest hair until like I didn't have body hair, really. And then I turned 18 and then it just. Pfft, and I went to my, my first girlfriend. I went to her dorm and the guys over girls are here guys are here same floor so i went i showered over here and then i walked across to her place i'm so lost and bored with a towel around my <laughs> my lower half but i had chest hair oh and my girlfriend at the time was embarrassed she goes cover your chest and i i for i got so much laser hair removal you Whoa, did but hairy chest not much but like here and, and uh, for like a decade because i would Ugh. and it wasn't until years and years later i used to do a bit about it i talked about how when i saw hugh jackman as wolverine and i thought he looks great mm -hmm. for years i was so embarrassed to take my shirt off oh my god there was this guy um that i happened to cross on my last trip on vacation happened to cross he, i happened to um we happened to collide cross. our paths crossed and he had his shirt off <clears throat> And he had a patch of hair in the back of his neck, like further up on his back. And I didn't know this about myself, but I was immediately attracted. Like I thought, holy shit, I don't know what it is, but I want to touch it. The hair. The hair on the top of his neck. It was like the soul patch and it was so fucking hot, Esther. <laughs> so I say, guys, if you're insecure about your body hair, hold out. You're going to find some freak like me who's going to really, really love it, including your chest hair. Right? Can we Let see, me see your it chest now. hair? No. I'm not even embarrassed about my chest hair anymore as much as I am about how like skinny and out of shape and unathletic I look. We can't see? I don't want to. It's a lingerie up. Show us. I don't. I don't really want to. I don't really. Show us what Buddy gets to have sun, every night. No, it's pale. <laughs> wow. You're, you're insecure. It's okay. Yeah. I, I understand. I know. I'm sure you do. You fat <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck. Could you edit out? Don't uh, edit it out. Because you're not supposed to say stuff about weight because everyone's beautiful. But the truth Don't is, heavy people are beautiful if there's some, you know, but there's just nothing, a, nothing about you, you know? You're just a pawn that could get... only move one space on the first turn. Sometimes I need so much help, I have a headache. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just want some help. I want it now. I don't want to have to find a new therapist and make sure they're in my... Network, network show up find parking all that stuff and that's why i am so grateful in this beautiful new year for better help check out betterhelp.com slash trash tuesday better help will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist you can connect in a safe and private online environment it's so convenient you can start communicating in just under 48 hours we love that you can send a message to your counselor anytime and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions all without ever having to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Some weeks, I don't want to see my therapist's face. Yeah. That yeah. phone option really is great. I can roll around in bed, look crusty, and, you know, look crusty. Um, be half naked. You don't have to worry about that. being late, parking, no, driving, just traffic. Call your therapist. Yeah. Um, anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, and affordable. We want you to start living a happier life today, like we all have, with BetterHelp. And as a listener, you'll get ten percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com/slash/trash-tuesday. Join over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P.com/slash/trash-tuesday. They you know what I'm them. over? What? I'm over shopping at the mall. It's so kidding? annoying. I do like the mall, but let's be real. I'm going for the pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you have imp you make impulse buys and yeah. now it doesn't work out for you and you have to go return it that you walk your ass to the mall? I mean, especially after all that holiday shopping, mm -mm. I'm over it. There was no parking anywhere. Nightmare. 
Do you That's guys... why I'm so glad for Freestyle Stitch Fix. Stitch Wait. Fix Freestyle. Stitch Fix Freestyle is a shop that is built just for you. Stitch Fix Freestyle is your trusted style destination where you can discover and instantly buy curated items based on your style, likes, and lifestyle. With styles from workouts to workwear for lounging around the house or for a night out, Stitch Fix Freestyle has clothes for any occasions. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash Tuesday. That's stitchfix.com slash Tuesday to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. Stitchfix.com slash Tuesday. <laughs> Do you get hard easily if you're with your girlfriend or like a, a lover? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think I have it sounds like erectile you, dysfunction. It sounds like you do though. I don't, th- I, I'm saying I don't, I, I'm not ruling it out, it, but it's never, it's, it's not an issue. Like there's no issue. I, I, I can't, how do you know? Because I've, there hasn't been many times, there's been a few, but there hasn't been many times in my life where I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't have sex. It's just that I don't want to. So the, the situation that I was talking about before where it's the most uncomfortable is if you find yourself making out, you're rubbing genitalia, but I, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be doing any of this. Any the of show? <laughs> the show right now? Uh, that was the, that was a, uh, yeah, that's what I was implying, but I, I don't mean that. You know the first night that I, because I used to date a comedian, Tony Inchcliffe, and the first night we hung out, we had like, you know, what you were saying. What were you just doing? He was doing showing you sketches? Because you didn't say anything in the quotes. Oh, what was I doing? The, the dry sex, like humping? Dry well, humping. isn't dry sex, you would call it sex is dry sex, but with doing, you, dry sex sounds like it's some, it sounds like a sex. Okay, whatever. We were dry sexing, you know? Oh yeah, I'm bad at the quotes, you're right. Yeah. You caught me. So, <laughs> it's dry humping. We were dry humping the first night we hung out and he came in his pants. Oh my God. Isn't that amazing? I Do you know how good that would make me feel? Was, I told you this, some guy came on my kneecap and I've never felt like a bigger boss in my life. He was like, oh, your legs. And he grabbed my legs and he nutted on my kneecap. Wait, what? And I was like, ah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? I must be some kind of fucking specimen. Do you really think it was you and not the fact that he comes like that? (laughs) You think I can never come, but all of a sudden I came on her knee. Here's the thing, Rick. I don't like guys that last long. And that's a fact. Same. Yeah, I, 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 well, what's long? I mean, you want five, eight minutes, right? I don't want more than a maximum eight to 10. Yeah. And I feel like that's already him really trying to like think of his grandma and baseball and other things. Is that a thing people really do? I don't know, but do you? you? No, Folklore. if you're trying to last longer, you just change positions. Why? Because then you get, it's like when you're working out, you, you take a rest. Hey, like, I'm sure, I don't know if anyone ever fucks you face forward, but like, <laughs> if you're behind, maybe you would say, here, get on my back and face, I'll oh, get on my back and face that way or something. <laughs> I feel like you should ring your bell. <laughs> I, you, I sometimes uh, feel bad insulting you because it feels like I'm being mean to Dave. Oh, that's true. Because I, oh, Dave's like, oh, well, what are you saying? Like, my standards are such and such? You're disrespecting his woman. Well, I'm, I don't feel, yeah, yes, th- that's not the issue. I feel like it's disrespecting his tastes. And he's had, obviously has such great taste. He's a very creative, smart, you know. He's you just, can pivot, you know, just, you could go after me. Esther could use a break. Go after you for what? I don't know if you feel like Take calling off your bra. me. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Let me see if I can make fun of your tits. Take off your bra. This is a paid service. Subscribe and you can see it. Sure. You know well, hey, we'll put this part on Patreon. Hold on a second, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I really have not put deodorant on in several days. You don't wear deodorant, do can you? Can I smell? Isn't that a Today? thing? Yes, yeah, sm- it's not good. I don't want to get up because I'm wearing a thong. Do it. <laughs> I don't want to get up because my Cause hair. She just shit her pants. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping for a bigger laugh. It made me feel immature. <laughs> it's the same as the bloodbath girls. We can't like look at what they're yeah, doing. It's like a joke. what what they all want is our attention and us talking about them. So the bloodbath girls are now trying. I don't know what yeah. they're trying to do to me or whatever. I'm never watching it. I don't care. <laughs> Anyone that watches whatever their fucking bullshit video is and it, and it, and agrees with them, please oh unfollow everything I've ever done. Get the fuck <laughs> away from me. I literally am here to. <laughs> Fucking get over myself, be good, make people feel good, make people laugh. If you don't want to get on board with that, get the fuck away from me. Like, I will not be controlled. I never have been. I never will be. It's like, fuck off. By the way, the best point ever made was about the name. Bloodbath, when it's friends making fun of each other and it's a little bit of a period joke, is cute. 
bloodbath when it's about the victims of a fucking it's crime really dark. is absolutely disgusting. Mm-hmm. That's really, really And bad. to say, That's one of the really comments bad. they said about us was like, serial killers are better than us. We're worse than serial killers because we don't apologize mm-hmm. to the victims. By the way, there's nothing to apologize to. <laughs> and the serial killers are not okay. They're never okay. <laughs> you are misogynist. Yeah. You are misogynist. You hate women. You pray and you try to make money off of the death of innocent fucking women. So how about that? How about that? Do you want us to fucking release that, bitches? Yeah. Do you want people to know that Ooh, about you? Drop that what shit are on we the doing? Patreon. We're showing girls that they can be themselves, get over yeah. their fucking trauma, love each other, be supportive, and speak their own fucking mind in a world where men tell us what to fucking say all the time, and we have to conform. We don't fucking do that. We talk about diarrhea, period blood, <laughs> and we fucking eat gross shit, all right? Fuck you. All like, during a pandemic. And we're we are horrible. We, bu- we never bullied you once. We took yeah. the name down. We just were trying to be nice to you and you wanted more. You wanted merch money. You wanted Ugh. attention. All you want is money, clout, mm-hmm. and to look like victims. Well, you're not fucking victims, but you know who are? The girls you exploit for your fucking show that has 40 followers. So enjoy <laughs> your shitty little career. And you'll never get a hundred thousand fucking dollars from us. If you had asked for 10, by the way, you might have gotten you might have those. Gotten. <laughs> Mama has spoken. And it's and like enough. Like, what what do we want our followers to do? Not be themselves and scared and yeah. and and victims of their we were all fucking molested in every hole except Esther, but her time will come. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe during this episode. I had some things. Yeah, you had a couple things. That's true. I, For some reason she hides them. I think that you hit the nail on the head, and I think that ultimately we've not called it what it was, which is They've been bullies. You're you're bullying wow. us. You're trying to extort us. We know our power, and that's why we don't talk about you because you will be destroyed by our fans. We don't want them to feel bad. We don't want them to go against you. We want to just move on with the shittiest name ever. Kalila picked it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. George. George did. fucking did it. George does coke though, so we'll we'll give him a pass. He's a drug act- addict, and eh. he was drugged. Do you guys want to hear two girls talk about the same murders you'd heard everyone else talk about? <laughs> yeah. Who are calling us bullies out of nowhere that we've literally been protecting for months and months and months. Yeah. Do you hate our new name? So do we. Everyone fucking does. We, <laughs> we loved our it. name. It made sense. We could have coexisted with them. We actually were going to have them be our true crime correspondents, but they went around and told everyone we were thieves and liars and said we were doing things. We never did. They are unsafe. Mama. I don't I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! So go watch their show. If you like it and resonate with it, please give them your money. Honestly, give them you your guys, attention. Please. They please. Need, it seems like they really want to build an empire. Go follow them. Do whatever. No. Do it. Do we'll it. Do it out of charity. They got you in a it's wild no thing down on iTunes. Back. Because even after we changed the name, they still took it down vengefully. They they literally gave us more shit even after we changed the name. After we changed the name. And it's like, I don't even want to be mad because I shouldn't let anyone make me mad. But it's like, it's so fucking frustrating. We're biting our tongues trying to yeah. help and protect them. And they can't stop. And we've been harassed and bullied. Harassed and bullied every day. They wanted like, a private apology from Esther because they made up a situation in their head well, where they thought Esther was speaking directly to them. That's what the we feel. That's like stalker That's weird. stuff. Made someone out there thinks you're speaking to them. That like is what made me feel unsafe. That's where I'm unhinged. Like, you're making shit. up something in your head that I'm I'm threatening you. Or I think that. the line that they were upset about was like one t- and like one of our first podcasts, which we filmed months before we even they even acknowledged us. Was you said um, like I'll we're the bloodbath girls? Let it be known, like. And and they let, let the court. It's been a bloodbath. Let the court see. Because let she court said she's gonna sue me all the time because I'm gonna kill her. Because it's bloodbath. Because we're friends that fuck with each other. Do you understand? I love it has this nothing guy. to do with you. Listen, angels, go yeah. for your life. Get over yourselves. Your life will be better. Okay. I work on this myself too. Okay. I'm not saying I'm perfect, and I want I want you to be successful. And I, but your mindset is not correct. Okay. Your mindset is paranoid, and it's not. It is not. It's not where we're coming from. And you want an apology? I'm sorry. I'll say I don't it. know what the fuck I'm apologizing for, but I'm sorry. No, I'm getting emotional because I do feel like I, I I think that anyone can relate to this. Like there's something in your life that you have to just keep a smile on your face uh-huh. and you can't, you can't let people truth, know yeah. what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. But like since the day we started this podcast, this has been going on and we never talk about it because like like what women usually do, we just put a smile on our faces and like keep it going. And I've, I'm just, there's something emotionally cathartic I, I about I think that this. what it is, Esther, is that 
we genuinely don't want to hurt anyone. Even no, like this is a comedy show. Yeah, like we've never set out to hurt anyone's feelings, step on anyone's toes. This was our whole our home project between three friends. We came up with a a name from the English dictionary that we liked. And that was the, once a death, movie. The death metal band that, that was exists. based on a band that is like you know and and. What we set out to do was just something light and funny and really positive. And what has transpired and has helping been women, helping such women. a bummer. And the fact that we've had to just take the high road and play nice and pretend like nothing's happening is what been. A, you're right. It's 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 been a fucking frustrating process. And well, did I not? Did we not have a conversation where it's like, you know what? We should just do a thing and try to be as nice as possible. And every yeah. time we're about to do that, they send another threatening fucking email. Some threat about something or we've done this or we changed the name on purpose. Like, stop watching true crime. Stop it. <laughs> you're paranoid. Stop. Well, what okay? about what Get about a puppy. <laughs> Get a puppy. Go look at the trees. It's beautiful out. It's beautiful out. What about the weeks or months that, like, after we changed the name because we were being threatened? Like, all a lot of our listeners were upset, and they they were like, "Oh, I don't want to listen anymore because you changed your name." And we're just sitting here like, we didn't want to change our name. Like, we were being harassed. And yeah. by we, the we way, we couldn't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. couldn't there was no anyone. taking of a name. We didn't know who you were, as we most people didn't. don't. You literally have a. I'm not even trying to be rude. You have a small following. It's very very small. <laughs> It's very small. You know what we're doing? We're actually businesswomen that are getting together to write to, to a podcast that resonates with young girls, that makes them happy. Do you know what happens when I do my shows now, my live shows? Girls come up crying that they feel so much better about being molested mm -hmm. and what's happened to them because we talk openly about it. Mm -hmm. So keep shutting us down. We're so mean to women. Yeah. We're so mean to them. And then go, oh, is there another girl that got murdered innocently that you want to bathe in their blood? Oh. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? And did we ever once say, we don't want you to have the name? Do we ever care? Did it have anything to do? We didn't know you existed until we already had launched and filmed the first few episodes. So sorry, we came up with the name before you existed. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no thievery. No one's taking from you. And it didn't take anything from you. All it did was get you more attention. Yeah. And honestly, we're happy to share that attention. Yeah. It's like, look, like whatever trickle down followers that you get out of this, Happy to have you see, ha happy to see you have them. We were going to have you be correspondents, but we, you know who we don't have? People that call us liars and thieves and make up stories about us and bully us. That's who we don't help. Yeah. I'm sorry. This has been honestly my favorite episode. <laughs> so it's good because, and I, and I this really do cathartic. apologize for like my, I shouldn't be this heated because I don't, it's no. anger is not the thing. It's just, it's exactly what Esther's saying. It's like, we've been holding it in. Yeah. yeah. I, and like, I literally am like on the verge of tears. Like it, since you started talking about the Asian stuff, like I'm just so, it's such a shitty feeling to like hold something in and be, be harassed and be scared. And like, I don't know. It's just. And be told you're bad when your yeah. intentions were never like never bad at all. Right. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't I don't know what to say. I'm just like glad we're talking about this. It's like therapeutic because this has just been really shitty. And I'm grateful that we have the show and that we fucking are. We're a huge success. Yeah, we're, and we're guess a what? Success. We are. We're huge. No matter no matter what we I'm are. I'm ripping you in, bitch. Sorry. She's the only one that exercises. <laughs> <laughs> Whether we're... F whether this is Bloodbath, Trash Tuesday, Slug Town, Annie Esther, Kalila show, it's whatever we imbue it with, right? It's like our yeah. followers, our fans, we love them so dearly. They've latched, we've latched back. It's like this mutualistic love. And no matter what we are, no matter what name we have, we're going to do well. It also doesn't matter. It's like you can have the name. We don't care. We've done Just nothing stop but harassing be nice us, to you. guys. It's like we've given you A, B, C, D, and E, everything. Just Leave us the fuck alone. You got our iTunes taken down. That's more people that could have been inspired and felt good about themselves that can't have that now. So Also, there when there was a third podcast, Bloodbath, like, they bully the shit out of those they people, did. too. Mm -hmm. And it's like, dude, like, it's just How an many English bad word. friends are there? There's five. like five, yeah. Yeah, how many, like, hey babes hey, are babes. there? 20. This exists. I used to do a thing called Sausage Party Presents with me and my friend Abby. It was called Sausage Party. It was we would take hot dogs and we would recreate scenes with it and we would make original content. And then I saw my friend, Kate Berlant, on the subway. She goes, oh, my God, congrats on the movie. I go, what are you, what are you talking about? She goes, oh, you're doing that movie with Seth, Seth uh, oh, Rogen. Yeah. Sausage Party. And I went. Nope, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, you move on. You make something new. You keep moving forward. Nothing about our show gets in the way of your show in any way. Yeah, I think that if you spent 
all of this energy and legal fees into actually creating legitimate content, you would build an empire. But if you're continually continually Obsessed obsessing us, and harassing. using that energy to go after girls that are just trying to do a home project, um, it's gonna it's it's gonna backfire. Esther, how many alone togethers were there in the world? Uh, a lot. Well, look, it became like the slogan for COVID nineteen. Yeah. yeah, look at that. COVID stole. And there from was Esther. another. <laughs> we should sue COVID. COVID owes Esther an apology. COVID's been looking at you through the camera and yelling at you. Oh my God. Yeah, it's just so. It's this is a. It was a. It's been a really weird situation that I just didn't see coming for myself or for us. What I found the funniest though is they really had it up for you. <laughs> Poor little baby. Slug. I mean, that made me feel scared. Like I. You know, I've had stalkers and stuff. Like I, uh, okay. there's <laughs> again, I'm right here. Chill. <laughs> there's protocol for that. Like, yeah. I, you know, had to do some things to make sure. You know, I, I just don't know who these people are when they start talking to you. Like they know you. I don't know. It just this whole thing is it's really shitty, and I feel like people. All, all day, every day, there are people out there in their own workplaces where they have to grin and smile through something so where they're being harassed or, like, threatened. Um, and it just is so shitty, and I wish there was something that we could do. And maybe even just sharing about it is helpful. But it's – I don't know. It's just – it's, like, I just feel really emotional and, like, I can't articulate. And uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I just am so grateful that Annie is here to, like – be our mouthpiece. Yeah. Because you're and good like, at it. Say what I think we've all been feeling yeah. and afraid to say. All of this to say, by the way, stop complaining about the name change. We're going to change it into something else. We're, We're like an art out. exhibit. Oh, Every no, two I'm months. I'm doubling down. Trash Tuesday. <laughs> now I want to like stay. Maybe, we should, it. It. Honestly, maybe we should just matter. keep it. Honestly, maybe we should just keep it. The name doesn't it, matter. You guys are what matter. The three of us. I look, my, I wanted to pitch uh, to take the H out and just be blood bats. <laughs> <laughs> that oh was my, my pitch. That's great. We should blood do bleed baths. Bleed baths. I want slug bath. Slug bath. Oh, yeah, slug, slug bath. Slug bath is cute. Slug bath. Even Look, bath guys. girls, I know I shit all over Esther and her mother. <laughs> and now I didn't know she's been being harassed online. I want to wow. get on track, but I'm also glad we this did feels this. So How about this? We hop off the horse and we switch gears, guys. Wait, can I like call we're my very mom? good at. Can we Trust call Bobby me. and show him your tattoo? Yes. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. What are you scared about? Well, maybe he's on set, but let's try. I just feel like he's going to be like, that's weird. Like that's what he's he'll be like. Well, he's gonna be worried mad about people that... saying that's weird when they look at you. <laughs> oh, Santino's calling me. Should I oh, pick, pick it up? up? Yeah. You know, I called and I was just trying to. I was originally trying to leave you a voice message singing "Happy Birthday" to you in a um, an old white guy voice, but I picked you that. ruined it. Can I you? Ruined it. Well, do, here, let me hang up. You can Speaking try again. Of old guy, we're on the podcast right, right now. Okay, bye. Oh, okay, goodbye. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's Bobby. It's Bobby. Hi, sweetie. What's up, babe? Esther wants to show you something. Esther, send him the picture right now. Okay. What's the picture of what? Oh, I like Esther's look. birthday present to me. You will not believe it. I like your nails clipping on I'm there. really clip, scared. Clip. You want to see it? Yeah, text it to me. Okay. She just sounds excited. Stay on the phone. She's texting it to you right now. Is she fucking crazy? <laughs> Is she dumb? <laughs> Is she dumb and crazy? What is wrong with that girl? <laughs> I can't believe you called her a girl. She was dropped. <laughs> you were by dropped. many agents, actually. <laughs> what does drop mean? By as a baby. On your head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, they never <laughs> held her. Whatever you want to say. To hold her to drop her. <laughs> anyway, why did she? Is that real? It's real. Well, you're going to have to fucking get her an Esther tattoo now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do it? Yeah, yeah. On your neck. <laughs> <laughs> right over okay. Adam's apple. All right, babe. I love you. No, tell okay, him bye. that it's bye. Don't. Uh, that's, that's so funny. Okay, here's Andrew's um, white man happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Filipino. <laughs> happy birthday to you. That's pretty good. It's Pavarotti. I loved that. That was gorgeous. You can still sense the anger, that deep down anger he has as a ginger. You guys, I'm not kidding. I usually don't believe in a lot of products that say, oh, you know, your hair will grow back thicker, fuller. But Nutrafol actually works. 
And I can attest to this. When I turned 30, my hair started thin really badly. When I got off birth control, even worse. And within a span of like three, four months, with a little bit of patience and taking these pills as suggested, my hair started to really, really grow back. It's really helped me with when I wear the clip-ins, they're so heavy that it gives me like little patches, little bald <laughs> patches and like a Dalmatian yeah. under here. But the Nutrafol's helped me grow back. You guys, so nice. 30 million women are impacted by weakened or thinning hair. And if you're among them, you are not alone because you have us. And know that there's a solution that you can trust that will actually deliver results. Thousands of women have taken back control of their hair with Nutrafol, with many users raving that the supplement not only transformed their hair, but restored their confidence too. And Nutrafol offers two targeted formulas for women that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less shedding through all stages of life. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. More than 1,500 top doctors recommend Nutrafol as an effective and high-quality solution for healthier hair. I've also bought it for Dave and for Carlos. Mm -hmm. Like, guys, they have it for guys, too. Yes, they have a line for men Carlos as well. hasn't started it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, he hasn't started it. <laughs> you can throw thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com slash trash to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time, plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash trash. You guys, we don't mind hair on a man. We it's don't just, mind a beard. We don't mind hair down there. We just need to know that you are grooming it well. That you, you care. And that you care. Just show us that you care by it's just hot. trimming down there. It's hot to groom. And it also does get hot down there. And let's just let it air out a little bit more by using some Manscaped. Okay? That's why we love Manscaped. Manscaped created the ultimate groin and body trimmer for focusing on creating a comfortable grooming experience. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Say goodbye to beard hair around the sink because the trimmer is waterproof. Time to get him to shave in the shower. And while he's in there, make sure he has a new ultra premium body wash from Manscaped to leave him feeling and smelling good. Their body wash is the perfect addition to his self-care routine. It's also infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. And the perfect way to leave him feeling confident once he gets out of the shower is with the Manscaped Refined Cologne. It seriously leaves him smelling amazing and features their same signature scent as in all Manscaped formulas, the perfect complement to his self-care collection. With Manscaped, he'll look and smell like a new man. Use the code TRASH for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TRASH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code TRASH. Upgrade his 2022 self-care routine with Manscaped. Girl would come over. Uh -huh. Why can't woman. you go to her? Because I'm the alpha. I'm a real alpha. A real alpha male. I don't know. I just a girl comes over. It's easier for all, all for parties. You? Yeah. For you. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. But I has. I mean, there's got to be a transaction, right? I mean, she has to be getting something from me. That's why I show her my sketches. So then she'll come over, and um, no, you know, I'm comfortable. I'm dressed comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. They're like, oh, she. You know, what she's thinking. Whoa! I put on silly ears, some lipstick. Mm -hmm. Put on a zero for a nice set of tits. Mm -hmm. And all I had to do was show up and be who I really am. I like so this now guy. she feels less than you because she had to try hard. No, now she feels more comfortable to be herself around me. That makes me feel more comfortable that if I have an issue with like a uh, performance anxiety, then I could be like, well, hold on, let's just, you know, watch something. Is that something Kalila? you actually have? Yeah. Performance anxiety? For um, sex? For yeah. anything I'm performing, including sex, yeah. Do you have a sad penis? No, happiest part of my body. But I have a sad perspective. Like, do you just, do you rate yourself after? Do you like rank it compared to other times you've had sex? Like what's no, the anxiety no, it's, it's coming just, from? It's, uh, I, I get, I would get scared that I don't like having, I, I never wanted to have sex right away. Um, it wasn't like we got to, you know, meet each other's families, but on a first date or a second, I didn't want to have sex, but I have this thing built in where I feel like if I don't have sex with her, then she's going to think I'm a loser. So I felt like this need to have sex. And that made, mm. that would made me always feel uncomfortable. So if I got to the place where it's like, let's not have sex now, mm. let's put on some sweatpants, watch some of my old videos, like the pilot that we did. And then it's like, oh, you know what? Hey, look, 
Daddy's hard. Okay. Ew. Daddy's hard. Ew. It's one way of daddy playing. Okay, but okay. So Ew. now we'll have sex. Or we don't have it's to. Not, but not. I can. The door's been unlocked. I need the door to be on. I can't get hard until but somebody announce, says I can. But do you can. announce it like that? Daddy's hard. It depends on the energy. No, uh -huh. I've never Daddy's said that like hard. that. You know. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm into that. You are? I mean, just I've turned a corner, Esther. What I like is is really strange these days. You know what I'll say? I'll say this. What I need is like, cause you're, okay. You're saying like, you kind of have to get, you have to watch your own sketches that's to get hard. That's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't think it was. I think you're realizing it after the fact that you need to say Are you busting my balls or do you really, are you that <laughs> far removed from bits that you think I have girls come over and they watch that guy in his friend's sketches from 2010 <laughs> where I'm pretending I'm in SNL? That guy and his friend. In <laughs> SNL? No, I don't no. have them watch my sketches. Well, I was going to say, because it may, you made it seem like you kind of are nervous to get, and you can't really, you're not sure you're going to get it up. I'm, 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 I'm scared of the obligation, the assumption. So I need to get it across quickly. And I would say this, like, hey, listen, I am probably going to be too scared to have sex. And if that's what you think is going to be happening tonight, we can't do that tonight. Oh, and that's what sweet. If, okay, let's do this. We're on a date. I'm at your house. Right. And well, say, change and say, wash your hands. Say what you just said. Like, so you just said to me. It would be before you got to my house. So you just said to me, really? Yeah. Before you come. Because when a girl comes over, there's the assumption of, oh, something's going on. And maybe, maybe if that is hard. But I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just being fun. I'm being fun. I'm being fun. I don't, I'm, come on. I'm being fun. 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 Bobby Lee. But. Before, so I'm saying, hey, listen, you're coming over. I don't know what your expectations are, so let me help us get on the same page. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm probably not going to want to have sex. I'm not saying nothing's going to happen. I don't know. But like, just know, like, you would you be comfortable coming over? Maybe we'll make out, or maybe we'll watch something. Maybe nothing. I, maybe something. You would say this before they get over there. Yeah. God, Rick, that's just a whole lot of information yeah. to digest. It kind of takes the through fun someone's out door. Of it. I, I don't want to be. I, I, how do I say this? I mean, with class. It's safe. I mean, I would feel safe walking in. Like I know exactly what's going to go down. Unless it's a trick. But mm. if it's a trick, hey, we're not going to have sex. But then the I have found that that uh, it wasn't my intention. But I have found that 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 was good. Mm. But still, no, it wasn't a trick. It wasn't okay. a trick. So okay, so let's say I'm at your house. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you're like, we don't. Let's say you tell me in person, like, I don't want to have sex, and I'm like, well, I don't. I didn't say I wanted to either. Okay. I, oh, I don't date defensive people like you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I don't enjoy people's company when they're projecting that when I'm talking well, my truth. What would I'm you famous. like the girl to say when you, if you're like? I'm gonna answer you, and you're gonna say gross. Okay. Here's what I want her to say. Whatever her truth is, whatever she's feeling, because if she says this to me, hypothetical, Betty, I love you. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. You know, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. If she said to me. I get that. We don't have to have sex, but I'm probably going to fuck you. And if you're nervous, I'll suck your dick while you're soft. We'll figure it out. I'll make you come soft. I'll probably go like this. Come over. That's fine. I just want you to know that I might not be able to get hard until we get to know each other a little. But if you're okay with that, I, that would probably get me hard. So it sounds like you have a hard time getting hard. I have. Uh, yeah. I, if Daddy, maybe daddy's not so hard. Daddy is not hard. I, I, I. I, yeah, I, I can't get hard unless you, I'm unless I'm interested in the person. I'm the same way. I can't get wet you, until there's a mental connection. Yeah. But why do you have them over if you're not interested? Because it's because I'm not I'm truthfully not having them over to sleep with me. I don't love leaving the house. Do you like you're making out? Do you like just making out and like rubbing love, genitals? Love. I love all of it. I love I love it all. But I, I don't know. I don't leave the house much. This is my date. This is our date. Mm -hmm. If you're into going out on a date with me, where the date is, you come over, watch some sketches, and we do whatever. I know it's then, true. Then come. It's not true. I know it's true. I know guys like him. They make you watch their shit that they made. Okay. I'm gonna start doing that with Bobby. Just make him watch my these episodes. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> let me. Let me. Play, put, let me sprinkle it in so I'm not just a fucking snooze fest who relies on her star power to get the bucks. <laughs> Fuck me. I did it once for like a show. Are oh, you? Come on in. Bobby. Bobby. Come, babe. In panda underwear. Bobby, let's stuff. see your undies. I'm so sorry. Come on in. Bobby. Bobby. Please. Please. Come in. Come here, babe. Quickly. Bobby. Babe, you quickly. I, I, I swear to fuck, I forgot. I oh, you look up. so cute. I know you look cute. I know, but I, I just woke up. I'm fucked 
I Bobby. Oh my God. How was it last Come night, here. Bobby? Come here. Sit here. <laughs> Bobby, how I was it? I have coffee. I thought you were, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I, I, I but just coffee. get in front of the camera enough that Bobby we see. Bobby, canceled or something? For <laughs> what? <laughs> you look so, so good. <laughs> Let him see you. The pant underwear is everything. Uh, do a dance. I just woke up and I, 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 here, this here. is how I sleep. Oh my, oh my God. I love it. Bobby, I like your new hair too. He still has all the, the sleep markings. Under. You're so good. It's okay. You caught, us, you caught us in a banana break. We're still good. Are you bananas? Yeah. You have less nipple hair than all of us except Trisha. I shaved down here too. Okay. Well, oh. oh no. Bye bye. I love no, you. you see? <laughs> Go no, get out of here. Yes. Yes. I want to thank Manskin. Yeah, can I show you? I can yes, tell. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's I see it. All the way oh, looks good. Way. I went to spa last night, and then I didn't. I didn't shave the um in between the um the sack and the thighs, so it looks weird. Mullity. Yeah. It's a little mullity. God, you're my favorite weird. little lesbian. Can How you give was, me a kiss? Uh, what? How was last night? Was it good? I killed. I bet you for fucking seven did. It's gonna grow, I, Bobby. I it's gonna grow. God, I killed this, everyone where I in the room. I killed for seven minutes. The beginning seven or the last seven? I didn't do fifteen. Oh, you just oh. got off. Good for I you. Did seven. <laughs> and oh. I just said, "That's good." Good. And then everyone was like, <laughs> "And I go, Kirk Fox." <laughs> was this at the store? Yeah. Did Ooh, Kirk I do, do seven. more? You can do whatever you want. Yeah, just do whatever you want. I'll do 70. I do 70 because, sometimes. Because fuck faces do 20 or 30. Yeah. Right? So if you do 7, it all... Do you say fuck faces? Fuck faces. I'll be like cute. Like, <laughs> oh, like sometimes do that. No. Bye, babe. <laughs> Bye. She liked it until Bye, it got babe. to... It was like an expose. <laughs> Is he on camera? This is what I love about Bobby. He didn't want to come in, but once we got him... <laughs> okay, have fun, have fun. Bye, you Bobby. <laughs> There should be. There is. Like, not his job. Is there is isn't. Is there a Red Bull in there? There should be. There isn't. That's the funniest interaction I've ever heard in my life. Is that oh. how he sleeps? Yeah. That is so in my funny. In He's my panty? Cute. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, yours? That's we share. Cute. We share underwear. I love it. What is that? Oh, I got one in my bag. I always carry one in my bag. Oh. It's nice Wait, and you, warmed. Wait, you guys don't share underwear with your um, Are you lovers? crazy? No. no, I cannot. No, I cannot fit into his underwear. Um, <laughs> so little. <laughs> we, we share clothes. <laughs> yeah. All of our from head to toe socks, everything we share everything. Oh it's perfect God. because um, he wears he everything puts the under holes his in the socks. You stick your toes through them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the socks she was wearing last time were, yeah. were rough. Well, he wears everything under his belly, so um, he actually fits. He buys um, pants sized to me. And that's we great. share, yeah. Oh, that's cute. I love his clothes. He's skinny. He's so skinny. Yeah. It's it's so weird how I, I've always said this too. I feel like everyone looks better naked. I really do. I agree. I think that too. I feel like me, I look better naked. I don't look as like fat naked. I don't know. Me clothes too. can bulk you up if you don't want to dress. Yeah. More people should just be naked. He looks so skinny. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> I went, because he always calls himself like what? Like a meatball or something. And I'm like, oh, he's like tiny. He's like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> it's so cute. Wait, Wait I want to ask a again. question before we reset. Yeah. <laughs> do your parents, have your parents adopted the nickname for you? Go go queen. No, but if you want to actually go there and have me tell you what happened with my parents, what we may need to cut this out, but I can't actually keep it in any longer. So I was on a morning walk with my mom and dad the first day I got to their house, and my dad goes, Wow, Kalila sure loves ass licking. <laughs> By the way, you might think that's the bad part. That's that's the part that didn't even bother me. <laughs> Kalila sure loves ass licking, and my mom goes, wait a second. What skull fucking? <laughs> oh, oh. She goes, oh, I just realized what it is. That's what your dad does to me. Yes, Mary. <laughs> oh my God, Mary. Good for you, girl. Just hang back. Do you understand? Tell Al, you've done enough. You do the dishes, Mary. You do the dishes. Do you understand your time is off. The trauma, the se actual sexual trauma that I am living with. I like now. when you said sexual trauma. I just imagined a saxophone. Yeah. And then they brought it up again later at dinner because it because guess what fucking holiday it was this past weekend? Dia de los Muertos. My birthday. So there's skulls everywhere for Day of the Dead <laughs> at the Mexican restaurant. We Did went your to. dad just go up and fuck all of them? And my dad just goes. <laughs> to the skulls, and my mom's like, <laughs> and I finally it got really serious, and I was like, "Hey, mom, do you want to picture your mom and dad fucking doing that?" And she's like, "Oh, okay." So that's what I'm dealing with, thanks to this hit show. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we should, as a team or as girls, reclaim skull fucking because it's always been something that dudes have 
uh, you know, bragged about doing to girls. And I think yeah, what they like don't it. realize is like, we're lazy. Yeah. We wouldn't, we don't want our neck to go back and forth. So we just take it. And oh. the joke's on fuck, the joke's on them. A million Team percent. Skullfuck. I, I also skullfuck. will say I like the word face fuck a little better, maybe because my parents ruined skull fuck for me. But like, <laughs> I 100% actually think that you have started here on this show, a feminist movement that's pro <laughs> face fucking. And I, I, I texted George, I want to make shirts that say either, I want to skull fuck me, I'm a slug, or like face fuck me, I'm a feminist. Because I feel like we are creating the positive face fuck movement. <laughs> NNM. We're no. manifesting that all you women out there just lean back and open up, okay? <gasps> no neck movement, ladies. Do it's not 2020 move you're a muscle. slug. You can't. You can't. If you're a slug, we don't do neck movement. We don't have necks. We just lay back and take it. And they <laughs> think they're doing something to us, but it's really, we're winning. Yeah. We're not doing any work. No calories burned during blowjobs anymore. <laughs> this is iconic. <laughs> Apparently, my mom and stepdad still are very active and... Um, that knowledge was that information was dropped on me about two weeks ago. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Please tell me more. Well, you know my mom's a fucking cyborg, right? Yeah. So we know that she probably like can hardcore fuck still. But I'm really surprised. My stepdad's like well into his seventies, and he's you know he's on a lot of meds, and apparently he still likes to fuck. My parents haven't fucked since. 1990, oh. <laughs> like one. My parents would always make jokes about how they didn't. I'm like, okay. Literally, I'm je I'm jealous. I've never been more jealous. Well, yeah, I guess you it's don't good. Have, they love each other, best friends. Now, maybe they fuck. I don't know. There was one actually. There was one Valentine's Day. That's true. They also might be really good at keeping it. When from I was you. leaving, when I was when I was living at home and I didn't have any friends, my parents were like, uh, "Do you mind? Or was that their anniversary or something? Like, can you like go out?" Like, and I was like, I literally can't. I had no friends. I had no one to go hang out with. Been there. And I just heard like. Oh, slow and slow and deep. Well, they got to make it last. So they only do it once a decade. Slow fucking's good. I like that slow fuck. How did you feel you gotta about have it? Both, you got to have slow. Both. Yeah, slow first. Yeah. Did it mess you up? It was gross, but I was happy for them. Does you does it mess you up to know that your mom is fucking your stepdad? Because I have a theory because it doesn't gross my sister out as much as it does to me because my dad is her stepdad. So I'm like, is it easier if it should it's be worse? It should be worse. Her mom's getting plowed by some strange man. My mom does the plowing in this one. So what? I don't feel as bad. Is your mom with pegs or stepdad? You guys, you guys have seen Call her my up. Mom. Call her up. My mom, I mean, it's weird because they're both control freaks. So like, I don't know how that works. Who takes charge? I feel like you do. You come in and you're like, listen, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm taking control of this one. <laughs> you are on the bottom today. You're on the top. I would love for you to do that for me and Dave. What, just... Um, Choreograph something for us to do. Be oh, yeah, in the I'd room when to. you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Made it too easy yet again. <laughs> You really are just, the, it's like, I feel like I'm at the batting cage with you, and it's like really slow. I just like, my life is so easy when I'm around. It's like, people think I'm like a comedic genius because you're such a fucking ding dong. You're such a layup. I, I, it's like the easiest moments. My, I literally, when we're getting in the car, I was like, let's go do our hit podcast that is the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> It's you are a sl it is because you're a slug. My dad literally this weekend said to me, he's like, "Your to me, Esther, your comedic strength is that you make other people funnier." Yeah, you really <laughs> do. Like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Somebody told me once that you like your asshole eat. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what, where's the shame in that? I do too. No, but you're, like you're just she, the only guy who will no, do it. No, no, like it's I got out you, there. Esther, no, I got no, you. no, no, it's no. It's wrong. Asshole eat. No, it's, but. What? I'm not gonna say the person's peace people people's. Also, shame on that person for fucking no, being but asshole and telling. It's not. He Listen, has it if wrong. You eat, if you let me just say this, let's go back to a restaurant restaurant analogy, okay? Mm -hmm. If I eat an average hot dog at a hot dog stand, <laughs> right? I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna tell anybody about it, right? Mm -hmm. The only way I could tell somebody to go to this hot dog stand is if this hot dog was the best hot dog I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. That's how people explain eating her ass. Oh, no. I feel like that's the title of my bi biopic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why eating don't you an average hot dog for eight years. <laughs>
<laughs> Fuck my you. biopic. Do you a favor. Fuck you. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. Why won't he eat your ass? Um, he's just that's just not his She's thing. She's a hot girl. That's like I know. Even if I were to spread it, even if it was <laughs> nicely soaped and scrubbed with oh, a Oh, really? Pad, Last night? You know, I, okay, uh, let's I get I hate to, your flirt sexual tactics. Fuck you, fuck you. No, no, fuck you. Last night, right, she goes. Like a kid, he will like bop you, wet will you, and he thinks that I'm supposed to be one of This is not what I'm doing. You go bop. I don't do bop. <laughs> Esther, this is what I did last night. You know that machine? The massage machine that yeah, you guys the, got? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You all got one, yeah. Yeah. right? She goes, do this on my leg, right? So I go, she had her legs out and her underwear. So she's kind of, you know. So I I'm, really wanted a massage. I know, so I, I'm using the machine, right? Uh-huh. But while she, I'm doing it, I'm. No, but see, <laughs> he wasn't even kissing my leg. Like Gina Darling said, he was kissing the bed. No, I was kissing your You're, ass. You, you weren't. You were like kissing the sheets. No, I was kissing your ass. And you're like, you know, I was kissing your ass. And you're like, that. Does I don't want that right now. I was, I'm sore. I need a real massage. There's a time for that. But see, you're not being very truthful. Uh, Other times you do bop and wet willy. But last night I didn't and don't. Anyway. Esther, so you're, right, you're, what, what's a signal that you give your partner? What's the correct way to signal your, what, to, to signal a partner? Just speak in general that sex is impending that something is gonna is about to happen <laughs> like text like hey want to have sex meet in the bedroom oh uh, that's good can i ask you about your asshole yes so you are <laughs> you are obsessed with this whole narrative for years you've brought this up <laughs> for years because i've heard about his legend for years, you bring up this narrative that you are just attached to by just so tightly that yes, guys in the past have have been drawn towards eating my ass. The guys I've dated, I, I moved out here to LA. I was fresh from Skokie, Illinois. Nobody had ever even tried to do that. So I was very surprised when I started dating okay. and guys just went straight for it. And I was like, wow, like why? Yeah. It was very new to me. It was exotic. And then it just became something like it was like a talking point. Like, wow. No, it was explained to me. I'm sorry. I like to. Okay, shame. Again, shame on that person for detail. It was not just exactly. one person. No, well, I want to hear this. Several people. <laughs> I'm angry or, for you. I know, I know. Several people. All right. I'm if it was just one, I would just let it go as hearsay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. She she threatens litigation, by the way. Yeah, so yeah. I would be And I'm not naming names caution. so that so there, no, there's no right. legal matter uh-huh. here, okay? But several folks said that I know Bobby, you don't like eating ass. I go, I don't like it. They go, but that you would. And I'm like, that always struck they me. They did as, not say yes, that. Yes, yeah. So that no, always, they did yes, not. That always you struck have me as a yes. mythical no, ass. They that, did that, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does so, your asshole look like that it's so, so that's fucking what, mystical so and legendary? So that for me, it's always been what's down there. MSG? <laughs> Esther, no, MSG. I, I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Is it no. a different color or flavor? What no, is it? No, it's just somebody was hyped on me and they were All just right. bragging about me. And yeah. that's what it was. All that right. is a crazy thing to say. Yeah. I'd be proud of it. Yeah. All buttholes are the same. <laughs> I guess, I, Apparently turns not. Out they're not. Apparently not. <laughs> turns out there are levels to this game. There's levels to this game. Oh, I think no. we should crash Jules' prom tonight and to have a redo. And I think we should dance our little hearts out. It's my first prom. And it would be Annie's first prom. We could take I, pictures. We didn't have a sports Why is George either? laughing like this was already planned and that I'm being sprung? What? <laughs> oh my God, you're so paranoid. It's so funny. <laughs> is this like a... What's going on? Is this real? I think that we should. Drop drop some fifties down, chaperone, and just tear it up. You're all looking at me because like you you're all freaking out. Knew this was coming, and like <laughs> it. if I did this, Esther, Jules would never speak to me again. <laughs> and also, let's be real, it would be like pig's blood from Carrie. Without you, would fucking kill us. <laughs> By the way, my dream is for pig's blood to fall on you, and I know it would be the worst thing that ever happened to you, but I just want you to know that there's a dream in my heart. That is inappropriate to say. Here comes Jules <laughs> with her dress. Come on in, Jules. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, it's tie-dye. It's it is so tie-dye. cute. Are you upset they stole your thing? Where did you get it? <laughs> the it's Retro oh, Fet. That's, that's this what? is gorgeous. Retro Fet, the brand. Oh, oh my God, do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh, you're gonna leave you're with one? You're so hot. No, this no. is so hot. Now you're oh, definitely amazing. gonna beat up Esther. Oh my God, Jules, that Jules, dress. Jules, your dress. I feel like an old lady. Like, I'm like, oh my God, look at the pretty young You girl. want to like pinch her cheeks, you know? Wait, hang on a second. So Jules, you don't have a date, right? No. That was a choice? Yes. Really? Um, 
Yeah, I, we tried to offer her some date potentials, and she was like, "No, I'm Who, going like alone." Who like Christy Stefano? Like, Who <laughs> do <you> offer? <laughs> like, really, Giannis or Chris? Let's settle it. <laughs> um, and so, what advice would you give to a shy girl going to prom? In, in terms of like how you get in on the dance floor? You, I think you just do whatever, like or just own what you're doing. You're going by yourself. You don't have a date. Like you look great. Just own that. Cause the only thing that matters is you being confident. So just dance by yourself. Mm -hmm. oh, she's getting so uncomfortable. Dance like advice. no one's watching. Uh, Jules, also on top stand of that. Stand like no one's stand. filming you. <laughs> That's it. You, the way you stand, the way you're very like this, yeah. is not going to catch you a dick, girl. So you got to oh stand. My God. It will, but it's not. It's going to be someone that's like, I can take advantage of her. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be the dick you want. <laughs> Shoulders up. Shoulders up. Oh, God, we're she's parents. Afraid her boobs Chin. Also, I don't know if Chin you know up. this, but we've all. <laughs> Yes, up higher, higher, higher. I love telling people to put their There you shit go. That's up. it. One also, leg up, knee up. <laughs> also, Jules, um, you don't know this, but we've all paid our fifty dollars to be your chaperones tonight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just we're just gonna tear it up on the dance floor. Guess who's gonna be in the pictures with you? <laughs> That's your date. <laughs> Jules, you look so stunning in this dress. I knew you would I love wish it, Jules Esther. Jules could say it back to you. But it's, <laughs> you look so stunted. It's so beautiful. It looks great. Did you try a bunch on? Did you no, try a bunch? No, that's right off online. She was like, that's that the one. That was the one? And it just fit her body. How unfair is life? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Jules. Well, thank you for your time. We'll see you tonight on the dance floor. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. Oh, she's so upset with you. <laughs> Do you have a thong? I see your panty line. <laughs> no, wear whatever underwear you want. Don't listen to this grim groomer. What do you think I, she should do with her hair? Um, wavy or pinned like sleek down? Ooh, sleek, I think. I feel like the wavy though goes with the dress more. Mm. It's kind of like free spirit. I feel like nine for 90s sake, it would be sleek with like barrettes yep. yeah. and it would clash with the style. Oh, with the this, butt. with this. Yeah. With a little So she really off. has prom? There's really prom they tonight? They really have prom. And they all got, all the kids got tested or show their vax cards. Oh my and... God. I thought you meant sexual STDs. <laughs> I was like, they're being this open about it? They can just go fuck freely. I'm like, this is so unfair. We had to go into bathrooms. Can I just say you look so hot? This is crazy. <laughs> I do. Yes. The, I just, oh, I'm sad I missed the. Oh, do you see the cap. fake modesty over there? <laughs> no, oh, she has low self esteem. I have low self esteem. Stop see, it. Annie knows me. She has low self esteem. It's it, it's starting to get frustrating. I'm going to start slapping you around. Wait, hang on. It. Do I'm you guys want to whip your ass until you realize? Well, it makes sense. She, you know, if she had better self esteem, she would be with a hotter dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you feel about your model fiance? By the way, congratulations. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's all about. I think women know. Y'all know how to look at other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? This was the fake fight we got in. I'm so sorry about that. Can I apologize years later? Uh, yeah, uh, here we go. I want to make a public no, no, no. apology. No, no, no. It was fine when we had the fight. I thought we squashed it until I'm looking at it this wasn't... clip that people sent me from this <laughs> fucking podcast. Don't you love that? Where you guys are just, first of all, her just going like, can I tell you something Eric Griffin said to me? <laughs> like, like just like just out of nowhere, I said, you know what? You should wear lingerie. That's not what the fuck happened. And what did I do on Monday? I understand, but I like, wore lingerie but yeah, but it did, Oh, that's so funny. It didn't help all and then she says and then this one jumps in oh well let me tell you and then you even said this i don't even remember what it was about That's and then you just so you know i was like but and thank god esther was just like mm, i'm just gonna be quiet <laughs> <laughs> This isn't going to go like, well. Let's just say Esther doesn't dip her toe in the pool, okay? <laughs> yeah, she didn't even want to show up Esther today. doesn't know how to swim, <laughs> let's just say that. I wanted you guys, I wanted to show you, not pasties. only do I have, yeah, you want to say, no, consent? Yeah, I have consent. I hit their pasties. Oh <laughs> they look great. God. You're so lucky. That what? could really have been a mangled mess. <laughs> Because she knew she had boob job, and then she got rid of the boob job. He knows. He was her there the day after oh. I took my titties out. Oh, I was trying to look. I was trying to see it. No, I mean, I get it. You're yeah. like, no, medically, I would like to say. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. You no, think no, it could no, have no, been? But it's like, it's like, you know, I, look, as a dude, <laughs> we have a, such a stupid perspective on breast surgery, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I it changed. I, I Talking to a friend of mine one time, and she rocked my world with how she said it. Because it's like, you know, uh, she got a, she had big titties that were fake. You know, and she said, uh, I got rid of them because I was just tired of the attention. Now, a guy perspective is, what do you mean you're tired of the attention? That's why you got them. You want to have big, you know. And then she said to me, she was like, no, I just wanted to, I wanted to feel like a woman. I wanted to wear dresses a certain way.
way. I wanted to, you know, I just, you know, being, yeah. you know, and I was like, oh. They do look so good in shirts. Like, yeah. I do love a cover They did it on me. They did it on me. It made me look like. Well, it just turned you into a different thing. And if you yeah. have the self-esteem you have, right? Yeah. Which, yeah, which it doesn't, terrible. you're you're good. You've worked on it though. So yeah. it's like, you can take a compliment, but people that have like true low self-esteem, when someone calls them hot, it like almost hurts them. Cause it's yeah, like, yeah. that's not how I feel. Yeah, you know? I think that's yeah. mostly what you nailed. You, you think, actually nailed it right there. That. We all feel that. I feel great. Like, you guys you can sure? compliment me all you want. I know I'm amazing. It's It took a while to get here, but. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm drinking you in. <laughs> Drinking you in. She's always in Hawaii, coming back glowing. Do I look pregnant again? Yeah. No, you look great. I don't. You didn't look pregnant last time. You looked like you had gotten fillers or something <laughs> or Botox. Oh, Which from she Hawaii. Didn't. And from yes. Hawaii, you mean? Yes. So the tan will do, but my tan has faded. So the fillers, the Botox look is gone. I uh, hold this, by the way, because my hands sweat a lot. So if you ever see that and it annoys you, trust me, this is a coping mechanism. We're we've been through this. Yeah, I, I know. I just I need to remind you. But I want everyone to know that she has a whole. That's how, I'm convinced that's how that all of your like ailments are things that just make you hotter to men because like you have sweaty hands so it's like Looks easier like to give a hand job. Yeah. Like it's true. You said that you can't grow your vagina hair. Yeah, that is true. God is just gifting me all of these. But that ass things. hair really does grow. The ass hair is a problem. It's throwing out. You know what? I hate to tell you guys, but that's coming. That's the growth has stopped there too. Well, I manscaped. <laughs> I do a light manscaping, and then I kind of just let. Let's the be rest honest. Go. There's nothing light about your manscaping. <laughs> you no, know, the light, the LED light. <laughs> <laughs> I did a Let's medical just grade. Say <laughs> I manscape, but it's not. It's very sloppy. Guys do have power when they make you feel a little like they could leave you at any point. <laughs> Like the fact that I know Todd will be with me till my last breath, I really do very little for him. Mm, it is that. true. They got to keep you kind of thirsty. Yeah. He needs to flirt with someone in front of me. He never, he's so, he's such a good boy. I'm like, you got to do something. Why is that? I, God, that is a terrible thing about me. <laughs> what? Is that when I'm shown like total love and devotion, it's, um, it's almost like I don't know what to do with it because it's not what I'm familiar with. Like my mom kept me thirsty for her love. I, I'm still thirsty for her, you know, um, like some validation from her. So it's like, those are the types of relationship I had growing up. So yeah. it's the same ones that I have with men. So my ex was probably the greatest guy you could ever meet. I just could not get there. Yeah. And because I was young and stupid, maybe now, Let's, like, let's try it. Let's bring him back on. But why are Bobby's you? Down. Why does it work with Bobby, but it didn't work with the ex? Because he keeps me so thirsty. He <laughs> gives me no love and affection. Bobby? I'm just always like, can you just touch my hair today? Esther, when I see the way you look, and then I see that giant sparkler on your finger. What do you mean? Because you look like such a little, my little baby. Like a little kid? <laughs> oh, you're my little baby that's engaged, you Wait, know? I, Wait, I, congrats. We're both engaged. Is your engagement real or fake? Mine's fake. Mine's fake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is engagement? It's a fake made up thing anyway. Like, are you actually going to get married? Yeah. Yeah. Today I hit up the jeweler that Bobby flaked on. And I, <laughs> and I was like, so what's the deal? Is he Has he paid you? And he was like, I don't think I'm supposed to say anything. You know, like, don't. That is so um, funny. But I strong armed him into giving me an answer. So, and? Has he paid Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to marry you, but he's broke right now. Well, he I think that he just doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> yeah, he he's it's so he's not broke, but the best he's confused. The best yeah. example of Bobby is that when he was younger, his car had like too many tickets or he no, he couldn't find his car, so he yeah. just bought a new car. <laughs> right. <laughs> or let's suppose a flat tire. God forbid you call AAA. No, you just buy a new one the Are next you day. You just leave it. I'm a handler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fucking zookeeper. <laughs> a zookeeper. Yeah, that's what I am. That's true. An animal trainer. And then you add Annie and me into the mix. You're a full-blown zookeeper. Yeah. <laughs> that's, wow. Shout out, by the way, Nicholas Potash. So he makes these amazing, like, not um, um, standard um, jewelry. Cool. And I was really excited because he was a fan of the show and he was like, hey, let me make your engagement ring. And
and I went on Bobby's DMs because <laughs> Bobby's like, you As do it. You does. set it up. Oh my God, he makes you do everything. Yeah, he made me set up my own. Um, he was like, tell him exactly. It, I, yeah, not a finger was lifted on his end. Does he not have like a buddy who you could at least pretend? I'm his buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it, so is it happening? Is, is he getting it's it? It's not. It's not happening out there. <laughs> now, I know. Did you? I'm going to have to come out of pocket for my own <laughs> ring. Oh, Britney Spears style. I think she did that with, K yeah, with K-Fed. She Wait, how much did K-Fed really make at that time? Not a lot. If he was a backup dancer, like that, that then those opportunities are not like consistent. These jeans were ripped naturally. I've had them since I was 15 years old. That's such a funny thing Wait, to bring up. <laughs> I'm so jealous because I fucking read a magazine article once that said Halle Berry kept a je pair of jeans since she was 15, so mm -hmm. she could always know that she fit into them. So then I was, I read that when I was 15. I was like, I'm gonna save this pair of jeans, but now I can't find them. So it's like my goal. I have to find. They're the a jeans. toddler too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh my god! I want you guys to actually wear these jeans because they are so soft, but so fragile at this point. Like any movement, it's I could so sad come though for me. Like by the way, I would bust them, and then all of a sudden the leg would be flapping open. <laughs> and also, when some when jeans are baggy on one person, and then the other person puts them on, and it's like, well, I guess these pants aren't traveling, sisters. <laughs> oh boy! But the best is when a ripped jean has like a secretly sexy rip, like how you have, so you can kind of see your underwear. Like, do you know the yeah. ones where it's like right under the butt cheek? I have a, well, a couple of those. That to me, to me, is sexier than lingerie. How do you, mm. well, let's be real, lingerie. Has that ever been in your life? That <laughs> no. was so weird. It's too much, too big of a swing. Do you but, guys wear lingerie? La no. Lingerie? Do you, you guys can't even wear say lingerie? It? Laundry? Yes. Laundry? <laughs> we wear laundry. She's like, my mom, <laughs> calls it, my mom calls it lingerie. Aww. It's so cute. Darling, maybe you should try to impress Bobby with some lingerie. I love that even your mom's like, listen, you've let yourself go. No, You're not. gonna lose this. You're gonna lose this situation. No, and you know, Eric Griffin once told me something that I'll never forget, and it pissed me off to no end, which is, um, maybe you should walk around the house in more lacy things. Ew. Well, Why Eric did he Griffin, say that? Well, no, no, no. Eric Griffin notoriously says the most triggering, annoying <laughs> things like a man could say. I once did, we did a pilot for a show where we were gonna like be Uber drivers that were send taking people to like go get their boyfriends back or so. I was like so it was this idea that Eric's like this is gonna sell and I'm like I don't even know what the idea is. It makes sense that you and Eric were cast as Uber drivers. <laughs> <laughs> And also, when do you have two Uber drivers? <laughs> That's how bad we are. We needed a, like a two. helper. <laughs> but but we were like, you know, had to do these like fake tests where we're like pretending to drive. And I can't tell you how many times I was genuinely screaming at him like, Eric! Because he was like, women are so shallow. I'm like, my boyfriend is 350 pounds. I'm shallow. <laughs> It was so annoying. I do love that. Meanwhile, him, he has like man. a model girlfriend. I'm like, oh, we're shallow. I think that's what happened. I think he looked at his his own model-esque, perfect-looking girlfriend, and then looked at me, and he probably thought, Bobby's my best friend. You could probably try a little bit harder. I think he was trying to help Bobby out. But Bobby, what he doesn't know is that Bobby doesn't like no, that stuff. No, it's weird. That's, that's a specific guy likes lingerie. Yeah. yeah. Lingerie is like hard because I, I feel like I the way I picture it is never the way I look in it. And it's so traumatic when you see yourself and like the also, if they, super, it just. It, lingerie in your size is literally pedophilic. I mean, that's like, <laughs> they don't have come in children's sizes. <laughs> I like the idea that like the garter like comes up to here on you. <laughs> like. I have a I have a, pr a proposition. The, you put the crotch the crotchless part over your head. <laughs> I have a proposition. I think that we should work through our lingerie trauma, and we should have a lingerie episode. Okay. Okay. So we bring our fav. Well, we bring what we would never wear, a type of lingerie that we would never wear in the bedroom. Do we get it for each other? No, no, no. You will bring me like titless, <laughs> <laughs> vaginaless, like nipple covers. That's what I'll bring <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait, can I? Can we also do a bathing suit day? Because I have real bathing suit trauma. Right. Can we do like a bathing suit episode? Can I get like twelve? weeks <laughs> no. before that? No, we don't get to just spring it on. I think that's the point. We, yeah. we just spring it on okay, and, and we love the body we're yes, in. Yes, we'll spring it on. In With a side bush, weeks. everything. You know what I will recommend, which I would do is like high waist. I don't need any recommendations from you. High waist. <laughs> high waist. High waist. High waist, you know, does not look good on me at all. It oh my God. 
<laughs> I promise you're you guys, a Barbie doll. Because <laughs> it, it, no, because you know how she's the, like it covers my like sick hard abs. Yeah, it's not good for me. <laughs> it's not. It makes me look even boxier than I am. Because if you know the the trend of like the really high cut bikini, yeah, and but it's kind of low in the front. I will show you guys. I will prove it to you that it's not my best look. I look better with low lower riding, even though I hate low ride stuff. I, I would, my body looks better in low riding. You I would look kill. Like elongated, right? Like yes. you don't. Yeah, I would kill to look better in low riding. Like I would have. You look cute in low riding. Mm. You have like you know what you have you have like the belly like remember when Britney Spears this is again creepy but this was the world. <laughs> When she did the first like hit me baby one more time and she yeah. had like the little bit of a belly. Yeah. You have like that. Thank you. I I have a little more, but I will take the compliment graciously. I mean, you are wearing this high, but you also had to fold it over. You're a confusing specimen. Thank you. She it doesn't quite fit, but then it also is too big. We're talking about the skirt. <laughs> this black. They've, they've figured it out. Okay. Should we take a banana break? So instead of uh, we're having a banana break, but what, what special item do you have for us today, George? Instead right, of bananas. Today, uh, I have found the haunted ghost pepper pockies. <laughs> oh my God, real I've peppers, heard. peppers, real heat. I've heard of ghost peppers. But what do we have after it? Uh, liquid death water. Where is No, that? motherfucker. Yeah. You don't give us a, a, you gotta have the out, the, the milk. I'll tell you what we'll have after it. Bloody assholes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have. <laughs> Okay, I Quick, do. Quick, Esther, Esther, we, you got to use the thing again so we can use your squirtle to. Oh my god, <laughs> you you have to admit that that thing made you have to pee, right? No, you know what it did. I already had to pee, and it made it that I could no longer deny it. So what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am gonna try these, but only because the packaging is cute. They have to be really good. Oh, she hasn't swallowed yet. Mm. And they look like Doritos. Mm. Oh my god. We have nothing to cure it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a producer's oh my god. job to have some milk or yogurt. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Uh, banana. Banana. So just, just enjoy it, Annie. Oh, banana is a good remedy. <coughs> oh my god. Give me the banana, George. Oh. George! You want this banana? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross, George. George is like the only cure is my ginger dick. Wait, like, I'm. Whoa, George, the way you're married. Said it, you want this banana? I'm I so know. confused because it does and taste good. And why is it good. taking him this long to make that? I do love chips, but it is so... It's so I'm okay. I'm but okay. But I think what I know of this is that it gets worse. It hit me instantly. The problem is I like chips. Me too. That's what I'm saying is I want to eat them. I think my hunger for chips is overriding the pain. It is going down my body. George, do you have any mild chips It's at over my there? nipples now. Do you want to put the stuff up my butt now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, do I? <laughs> With these spicy chip hands? Well, my butt needs it now after these chips. I'm four bites into my banana and I'm still on I'm just fire. Gonna go ahead and say this combo, quite something. You're still going. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're fatties. <sighs> we love a good chip. I have to conquer my fears. <laughs> oh my God, I'm still on fire. It's pretty hot. George, why don't you have a chip? Um, I don't have a, like a camera close up on me. You know that's the problem. I didn't uh, didn't do After my makeup your today. It's all... <laughs> the banana's not helping it. It's not. It's not. It's cold for a second. It's it like, like it's like it. it's not a cure. One time, Bowie was having really bad diarrhea at 7-Eleven. I was like, eat a banana. Can I tell you? I'm trying to like be just proud that you're eating bananas now and not livid. Wait, what? That you you didn't want to eat them for so long, and now. I you had a come to Jesus banana moment? I don't really like bananas, but my parents convinced me that they're really good for you and you might as well just eat them. But I definitely cannot eat a whole banana. You That's, have consistency issues with them or the taste? No, it's just like it's just not that good. So I'm like it's not really worth my my ingested it's calories. It's so well packaged. It's such a good snack. But do you um do you like banana flavored like Laffy Taffy? No, no one does. Look at, look at George, look at George, George, look at George turn red. Oh no. Oh my God, his neck is red. <laughs> George. Where's the milk, George? George, do you have any chips that are not spicy? I would probably pay a thousand dollars for one. Um, I don't think so, but we'll see. <gasps> it's survivable. Like I could eat a whole bag if I had to, if there was money involved. Yeah. It just made me want chips. Uh-huh. Oh, I bet my lips are gonna get puffy. Oh, what a gift. <laughs> 
Oh, I forgot about Cheetos. I haven't had them since George I tried that on the show. Like a fucking ginger. Oh, like a blonde okay, ginger. George? Oh yeah. You can oh, wait. Yeah. I forgot. Do you consider yourself a ginger? No. Blonde. No, I'm blonde. blonde. Okay. That's the gingerest ginger. <laughs> no. Is that the ginger's ginger? It's the white response? walker. It's the white walker of gingers. I Are should. Asians allowed to say ginger? <laughs> We used it in cooking, I like but. gingers. I've banged a bunch of gingers. I'm fans of gingers. So mm. that's why I think I can make fun. Mm. Sexually aggressive, the ones I've been with, in a good way. <laughs> I am not a ginger for people who think she's hinting at me. <laughs> my, yeah, my mouth, my lips, my tongue. There's tingles. Your pussy. <laughs> What is that wow. bean boozled? Okay, Together. here's here's oh. what I think we should just do is everyone gets a packet. We just eat them. And then you just tell me what you think you're experiencing. And now you said everybody. I'll play too. Oh my god. Uh, well it's it is oh! it is candy. Oh, <laughs> Extra flavor. So okay. Mm, well the smells are a little basically what this is is you eat a flavor and like let's say I have the blue one and I have to eat it and it's either going to taste like berry blue or like toothpaste. You have a blue one? Yeah, I toothpaste have. Toothpaste is not that bad. What color do you have? I'll tell you. Which one are you going to eat? Well, tell me what my options are here. Why I don't you eat, eat, eat the one. green one? So the this green one, one is either juicy one? pear or booger. Let us okay, know. Okay, here. Uh-oh, it's it's booger. It's grass. <laughs> it's booger. It's not. What color did you do? Booger. <laughs> Dude. I'm going to do white. Oh, wait, okay. no, I started one. Wait, white is either coconut or spoiled milk. Okay, the one yeah. you have to do, please do the one that's strawberry banana. Strawberry banana or dead fish. It's strawberry oh! banana. It's so good. I'm so mad. I really want to. What's the white one? Give me, give me, what's the white one? Um, white one is, or... is coconut or spoiled milk. I got it too. Okay, I'm going to do blue. Coconut. coconut. Toothpaste! <laughs> Toothpaste isn't bad. But it's not good candy. That's such a like Esther bad one. <laughs> She's like, um, I never brush my teeth. It tastes like the thing I put in my mouth every day. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Oh, another toothpaste. I think that's a spoiled milk one. It's I need to have a good milk. one. I know, I want a good one. These are fun. No, not anymore. Nah, this, the fun stopped right there. Are we signing off for the week? That, that one tasted actually pretty rotten. I don't like oh, that. No, it tastes like dead fish, but so did every dead fish you fed me <laughs> on this show. Yeah, that's all we've been eating every week. Collateral I wants out. Guys, so what do you have prepared for us today? Oh my God, what is... Ew. Bryce, oh. this is dungit. I love this stuff. What is it? It's a dried fish. Oh, no. I grew up on this shit. It's the best. No. Esther, I, my scrape family... your tongue with that. Um, my family you. business, my not my family business, my uncle's business was making these. Was drying out, like when you would go to your uncle's house, there was just like Dried fish, fish drying. Uh -huh. Are the... you going to eat it, Annie? Of course. When am I not? It's actually very good. <laughs> you think that's better, worse than this? <laughs> Definitely not. No. What is that? Show no. this to the camera. What is it? Ew. Why is mine baby food? This should go to Esther. No, no, no. This, this is... is baby food. This is for Esther. Annie, don't worry. You're going to eat what I'm holding. This is... What Absolutely not. I know what it is. I've seen these at kids' parties when you babysit. It's fucking crickets. Is that because you weren't you weren't invited when you were a kid? <laughs> what, what happened? Oh what Take it, it off my lap. Take it off my lap. Who? Dude. Who was in trouble? What's Am I wrong? Why did you bring me these? What is it? Dude, it's fucking full on crickets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're this is. Get. I'll get. I'll say the crickets. Oh. You're screaming like they're alive, Esther. Dude, oh my god, don't look. I cannot look at them. They're huge, whole crickets. Honestly, That's what's awesome. in the skirt is scarier to me. <laughs> Dude, why? What's is this? Just regular baby food, or is it like? Yeah, you got flavored. The, give her those crickets. Those are for her. This Here, Bryce made a mistake. Oh my god! If this had like flown up and all of them flung on Esther, what no. a happy accent that Can would be. Can I been. just say? I don't want any kind of jokes, uh, like don't, no, no one's done anything to you. Pranks, like I would love to just see you try the fish, and then I want to, I do want to see you eat the crickets. The <laughs> do you see? I just want to see. This is we've summed it up. Where'd you get these? Are these fresh? All right, so I do want to say it has an aroma of eau de ester. <laughs> It does not. Oh, day five day old. This I, is this. I would be drawn to a bath too, Esther. If this I eat a lot of pineapple. Okay. Okay, these are crickets. 
All right, look at it. These are salt and vinegar. Are you going to eat it, Kalila? Yeah, I'm going to try. I don't like that it doesn't just break. It's not my first cricket. Okay, fine. This it is, is kind of gross. Me. It does. I feel like it's a, you know what? Mich- They're usually supposed to be a lot crunchier, Annie. But it's very tasty. Maybe it's some hot sauce. Yeah, it's it's they're not as fresh as I wanted them to be. But if you had real good like buad with rice, oh my god! I think I could really wait with rice and what, like fried fish and stuff. It will dried fish with a little bit of vinegar in it. Mm. The best here. I I'm could see us cricket. like watching TV, and me just really getting into. Would these. you like a cricket, madam? Yeah. Oh, rest in peace, little Look how buddy. How horny she sounded when I'm she said that. Sorry that your life was taken for snacks. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't, don't. I don't even eat my Bryce. You know I'm vegetarian. But you, have you had these before? Count, I've eaten crickets before, yeah. But I haven't had these particular ones, no. Annie, you're really like okay with this? Yes, okay, you ready? nerd. In one, two, three. Hey. Oh, delicious. Mm. Abs. It's it's delicious, Esther. Peanutty. Nothing crickety about it at all. Peanutty. I actually like the fish better though. But there's no taste even. It's just like a chip. I'm sorry, Mr. Cricket. Should we move on to icy marshmallows? Do we have more treats this week? Are we trying an Esther delica- delicacy? I is, is that what it is? I mean, Esther's delicacy is Bring such a me. joke. Yeah, Esther will make it for us. She knows. What is weird about this, by the way? There's nothing weird. It's just called dry s'mores. Thank you so much. And a lot of people, what they like to do is they sit by a campfire. They melt their marshmallows and their chocolate. And they eat like a gushy, mushy s'mores. But I'm telling you, dry, raw s'mores, just all non-cooked is delicious you trying to claim s'mores as your own is <laughs> wild right now so and i want you guys to tell me are you think if you think like oh no of course we should roast this instead or if you kind of like it dry well i'm i'm kind of i have an aversion to things that might stab really? the roof of my mouth and oh this that's seems a p- like, terrible feeling yeah you know when you eat chips and they just oh you take a chip the uh-huh. wrong direction wrong oh, no, direction it just chip. slices you down the whole way <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to know what do you coughing up salsa. What are your expectations? <laughs> um, I feel I I'm think afraid. it's gonna taste exactly like I know it's gonna taste because we've all had s'mores before. Sometimes gonna... they're not bur- they're not really like that high, you know. Here we go. <laughs> mm, it's too messy after. Mm, mm-hmm. No, mm, I mean it's good. All the ingredients are delicious. I just don't like. I that. would like it a little like melty though. Mm. I love it good. this way. I think it's so much better this way. The chocolate does taste better this way. I love it this way. Mm. But the, going from the fish to cricket to this mm. made it all the more delicious, I have to say. I want to say I had a little appetizer that you didn't have. Well, Take you guys, thank you for listening to this week's bloodbath. Um, that was so much sure. I feel It's gross. a mukbang. Um, this show is turning into a full-blown mukbang every week. Um, we appreciate you. Um, please go to iTunes and give us five stars, six stars, seven stars, all the stars. We love you and we'll see you next week. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is your response always, here comes a guy in whatever setting mm-hmm. and he's clearly trying to get with you. You entertain this or is there ever anything in you just to be like, this is not gonna happen. Yeah. But I'm saying like, what, um, do you ever do that? Or if you don't, why not? Sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't, right? So sometimes it's like, it's like, it depends on what the situation is. Like if it's someone who is like I'm working with, you kind of have to like, there's a dance you have to do. I yeah. mean, it's like, there's guys always are always doing some bullshit, but it's like, I, you have, it's just like, you just be gross she's like, she's right there's always a dance and, and it's like and i'm not gonna fucking me too i'm not gonna be like this guy is attracted to me or whatever it's like he's just like shooting a shot i let people shoot their shot once same if they do it again i i'm like and i've already said no that's like that's a fucking that's violation. a problem it's it, like, it, okay. and he's a thousand sense. percent correct it's like i'm not supposed to assume that he knows i have a boyfriend he's shooting a shot right so in mm-hmm. that moment i'm polite and mm-hmm. i i take on like whatever advances he's putting on because i don't he doesn't know. But in that moment where he's like asking for my number and I'm just like, hey, like, no thanks. Like, you know, I'm not interested. I don't even say I have a boyfriend. I just say I'm not interested. Yeah. Only because it's like, I'm not, 
saying no because I have a boyfriend. I'm right. saying no because it's no. Well, there's like back in the day. <laughs> you know I mean? used That's to a work. whole different thing yeah. because that makes him feel like if the boyfriend was out exactly. of the picture. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And then sometimes it's like, sometimes you're like, maybe I do want to just give this guy the ego thing. And it's like, sorry, I'm just like not available now or whatever. You know, just like let them feel fine and then they go off. Sometimes, yeah. And that's like, who knows? That's like from whatever my own bullshit is from yeah. with my dad and my brothers and guys I dated when I was a kid. Well, it's, it's, even in that moment, there, like when I was younger, I used to feel codependent where I'm like, I don't want anyone right. to walk away feeling bad. Yeah. But like, as mm. I've gotten a little bit like where I am now, I'm just like, I'm just too tired to take care of anyone's yeah. feelings anymore. And where, it's, it's better for them too, right? To yeah. know, like, to know the truth. I mean, you should know what your batting average is. You should and, know the truth about it. And well, surprisingly, that's what I'm surprisingly, I would I'll, always prefer, yeah. I prefer somebody just being like, no, thank you. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Boom. Done. Move well, on. Well, you know what? A lot of guys actually <laughs> yeah. take it pretty yeah, well. Exactly. You know I mean? like, huh? They take it pretty well. Oh, a lot of guys well, are like, okay, I'm trying, cool, That's what you. I'm trying to say. I think that like, I feel like you're going to get the visceral response that you probably need anyway. Like, so I'm saying like, if you go, no, then, and, and if the guy's like, well, fuck you, then it's uh -huh. like, well, see, this is why I'm saying no. Yeah. I just go or like, a guy's going to be like, I had a guy, so I had a, okay. like a producer guy a that knew on me, this project I was working on and I would get like, I was going in like not every time, you yeah. know, like, so I wasn't like a regular writer on the show and he fucking leaned in for a kiss and I was so pissed. And I immediately like, I was like, no dude, so annoying. It's just so annoying. It's like, yeah, you're yeah. in like, you are the one that hires me, like fuck you. And so I was so annoyed cause, and I used to have so much fun with him. I used to like hang out with him all the time. And it was like, are you serious, dude? And then the minute I was single, he did that. And then I was like, all right, shoot your shot, whatever. Maybe you just like me. And then it wasn't maybe he obviously liked you. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not always like, but it's just a fucking so annoying. It's like, can we do it when the fucking show's over? But um, and also, can we not do it? I didn't want to do it anyway. But so I was like, like no. And then I left. And then I texted him. I was like, so when am I coming in the room again? Like immediately. Like I'm not like forfeiting my fucking job. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. I'm just like, hey, yeah. remember we work together, and I'm coming yeah. In. The other end of that though is there are moments that Annie and I talk about where it's like. It's very clear someone's coming on to you and you say no. But when I have a girl's night out, the rules change a little bit and the rules change on the dance floor. So I always tell Bobby this, I call it my, it's called HF, which is <laughs> heavy flirting, but I take no numbers. Well, I take no names. I don't even look at their fucking faces. I thought that made a whole form. I, <laughs> I thought it was heavy flow. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh my gosh, she's bleeding on them. That's great. And so let's say for instance, I'm dancing. There's someone behind me and I'm just dancing. I will I will grind up on whatever dick there is behind me, not even turn around to look at their face. The song is over. I walk straight forward. There's no exchange of words. There's no exchange of anything. It's just having a good time with just your Just going out on the how town many guys and leaving right now, a, How many guys right now a, watching this are like hoping they see her at a at a dance club. Like now. I'd love to get I those even... Kalila blue balls. Yeah, she's like, there's Kalila. <laughs> Woo! They got sweatpants on with no underwear. <laughs> Imagine her, I'm imagining her doing it, but it's square dance. <laughs> like I don't think you have to touch their dicks in square dance, Kalila. Or it's, or it's a wedding thing. Glad to the left. <laughs> and glad to the right. It's a fucking um Cha cha electric, real fat. <laughs> the electric slide. But Bobby is so not threatened um by anything at all like even when i said i was like sweetie please come with me to see an old friend of mine he's like please 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 don't make me go please don't make me go <laughs> and i was like what if like he's into me he's like i don't give a shit please don't make me go yeah, why, so yeah i totally get that energy i don't want to go see you some guy from high school just go. get so sad yeah it's like why you don't want to see the the life leave the eyes of a man when you yeah. show up with a guy <laughs> You know what it is, though? You know what we need to work on? Because I'm actually getting a lot. Like, these questions you're asking are interesting because I think I've done so much work on myself just in the past, like, few years that I would have a completely different situation. Well, you know what I want to say about what you were saying earlier is, and I, what I appreciate about you in this moment is, is uh, especially because this is layered. It's nuanced. Because, like, it's you having a good time with a guy you work with. There is some chemistry because you're having yeah. a good time, all right? So is there a possibility, like, and it's like what you're talking about is, hey, let's be professional. So, yeah, we're having this thing. Let's be professional. So maybe, like, outside of work, if you want to take a shot, cool. 
If I and if I want to say at that point, hey, listen, I really enjoy working with you, but I don't want to. I'm not romantic with you like that. It, it, is there? And then it's like on the other person to be like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I'm into if you I like that, but I think we have work a good work. Him, like if he stopped bringing me in, that's a fuck. That's a fuck. Exactly. That's a me yeah. too. That's what I'm but saying. But the thing also is, it's like okay, so Louis and his apology said this, and I thought this was actually so good. In his apology, he said, when I was asking these girls. What I thought I was doing was asking these girls a question, but what I realized now is I was presenting them with a predicament. And that's something that I was like, oh, that kind of like felt like rung true, where I was mm -hmm. like, in these working environments, when you are kind of afraid yeah. of that, and it's like, it is a comedy room, so it's like, and we, you're right, we do have chemistry, but I'm like, dude, I'm fucking crushing in this room right now, like, do not ruin this thing because you want to get your dick wet. It's like, it's not like he was on one knee proposing to me. It's like he was trying to fuck me at a party. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, like, but I had to, and my ex-boyfriend helped me with this um, because I used to get so offended when when guys hit on me. I went, I thought it meant they didn't think I was funny, right? Mm. Like, I thought it was like, you know, all of these, like the bullshit guys tell you when you're coming up and you're doing well, and they're like, it's just because you're a girl. And I'm like, I'm fucking funnier than you, dude. Like, I'm sorry, I was funnier than these fucking guys. But then it gets in your head eventually and you go, wait, am I only getting things because everyone's trying to fuck me, you know? And then, so I had this thing in my head where I felt like when guys hit on me, it meant they didn't think I was funny or respect me. Oh. And what I realized is that's not, I mean, that's just like from my own past shit with- I get it. Molested. Um, <laughs> but it's like, what I, what he taught me was he's like no they could be they're probably just more attracted to you because they think you're funny so Egg. it's not like Some so there is a way exactly. to make it there is a way to be like oh I'm gonna take the compliment of this and just like tell them the truth and not worry about their feelings mm -hmm. but just like tell them the truth rather than trying to like maneuver around it but it's see I feel like it should be dealt with I mean I feel like people should have more open communication about this I think instead of like denying like I never was a, like w when I was younger I'd be the kind of person I'd be like I'd be like that guy pretending like I'm your friend. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, I'm like, I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> so and, I, and it's so yeah. fucking annoying, right? I know yeah. how annoying that is, yeah. right? So later, when I got later, when I was like, had more confidence in myself, I would be like, nah, 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 nah. I'm not trying to be your friend. Right, yeah. We, we, listen, I don't let people dictate the terms of the relationship to me. Right. I don't get friend zoned because yeah. I'm like, nah. Yeah. I'm trying to get with you. You're getting way blacker. No, I'm just going. saying. It's a, <laughs> I'm like, we are really, we're coming, we're getting I'm just really saying, it again, annoys Caribbean me part. when I hear yeah. guys talk about like, she's got me in the friend zone. No, no. You staying yeah. in the friend zone. Yeah. It is totally okay to tell somebody no. Because mm -hmm. first of all, you know what it is? You can't just be my friend. Mm -hmm. you, you know how, 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 what it means to build a friendship? You can't just tell me, oh, we're friends now. No, I don't know you like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so no, we're trying to, I'm trying to get with you. So yeah. you deal with that. Yeah. I, you have to put it. And then if you go, and then so, so if you say, well, let's, I don't want to do that. The other person has to have some maturity to be like, you know what? This chick's talented. I like how we work together. Mm -hmm. I like what she does. I'll just, I just have to deal with my attraction. But I don't say you deny it. Yeah. The dude's into you because you were great. Yeah. You know, you were funny and you were attractive and you guys had good chemistry. He just needs to learn how to deal with working with somebody mm -hmm. you feel that way about. It's just like, it does feel like such a, like a Be weird betrayal that when you're like not expecting it, it's the same as the friend thing. Like yeah. when it's like, so you've been friends with me this long or we've been working. Like, it's just like, that's what your intentions were. This yeah. whole time, it's like, oh, it's so annoying. No, However, but, I, but, I, but I'm saying uh, to, to, to go in on that right. before, I don't want to cut you off, but I just want to, because this is great. You can cut me off. Uh, no, no, no. It's just, I do it. so it's just that. <laughs> Let's oh. just quickly, I want to quickly explain to Nikki. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're a pro face fucking podcast. <laughs> okay. We think it's very feminist to be yeah. face fucked. Yes. I like it too. Why are we, yeah, we don't have to do We don't want to do the I'm work. Doing things. We're doing uh, the cervical movements. That's exactly, I, I, I was in my special, but I was like, I like when a guy grabs my head and just like does what he wants to do because yes. I don't want to guess his rhythm. So I like, I called it the birdhouse. Like he treats my head like a bird. Oh. I don't know why. Like I just feel like I just have a hole in my head. And he, and then I when, like yes. being holes. And then when I you're done, like, and then when you're done, he tells everyone you're. Cuckoo. I just want to be holes. Sorry, this, wait, what? Literally, that's one of my oh favorite my God, I'm statements leaving. to say to I a guy in bed. Wait, I'm a hole. hole. I just want to be like I'm just I the hole. No, don't because here's the do thing: when you try to not be the hole, they treat you like the hole anyway. So you're like, wait, why am I fighting against this? I'm a sock. I'm a hole. I love like, being a disembodied, like from my soul, I like from being lay, a good person and like I a daughter. To, and I a, want them to be like, is this the bed or my girlfriend? <laughs> like, I don't want them to know yes. the difference between the two of us. I love just being like, I, I was list, I was uh, reading about like hot things to say in bed because you kind of run out of things uh -huh. and I need more. And one was use me like your cock slave. And I was like, oh. that like turned me on for some reason to just be, I want to be used. I don't want to be, 
Because sometimes it gets twisted where I, the guy that I'm like hook up with will maybe sometimes think that I want to be disrespected. I just want to be as disrespected as you would treat a hole in the wall. Like you wouldn't be like, I yeah, stupid listen, hole in the wall. I you would just be, be your hole in the wall. I want to be limp. Like I want you using my yes. body. Like I want to be limp and you just move me around. I want to do the least amount. Yes, Annie. I've done yes. I, I'm older yes, now. Yes, yes, yes to all of this. I, I want to be a cum dump. Yeah. I want you to just Wait, slip me over. Nikki doesn't know. I have a I have one of those hospital beds and I <laughs> I zoom up to fuck my boyfriend. I zoom up the bottom. I scooch to the edge and I I like press a, a button and yes and I rise myself to his penis. Oh my god. I do nothing. I, it's so hard to it's do stuff. So good. I don't like to do anything. I really do like to just take it. Right. And um I remember one time my boyfriend at the time uh I was really tired and he was like horny and kind of petting on me and stuff and I go you can but like I'm just gonna lay yes. I'm not gonna do anything and he goes as opposed to what <laughs> like he was like oh is that gonna be different for us and I was like you're right like you're such a good guy that you never make me do anything like he's he's really just I I don't ever have to be on top I just don't want to be on top I um, just I'll be exhausting. on top every once in a while but it's like it's just yes. sometimes I'm like oh to see if I miss am, it and I don't yes am I <laughs> bad am I just bad at sex is no, that, I'm or, just you're not bad you're just retired I'm yes, retired yes I'm on sabbatical tired at, and at retired. the least yeah, I'm on sabbatical catch me at my peak I was I you know riding dicks off their bodies oh wow I was really I never whole, did that I had a whole yeah <laughs> I like to be out of I feel like my whole life is so in control that most most women that like to be kind of just treated as an, an ob objectified in bed, I they tend to be like boss bitches in their life and they yeah. just want a little time off. Like that's why when I'm in bed, I just want to be holes. I don't want to be like, have to think about your pleasure and like think about you liking me and what I uh, look like. I spend so much also, of my life doing that. I just so want to ex boyfriend, the boss thing. My yes. ex-boyfriend used to be like, you don't seem into, I'm like, I'm here doing it. Like, I don't, what do you need me to be like, yay. I'm just like, <laughs> enough, we've been dating for two years. You know what, Annie, the more money. Do a sit up too, why don't you get hotter? <laughs> You're ugly. That's true, the more money I make, the less work I want to do. <gasps> yes. Wait, oh, because you realize Annie, money fixes everything. So I'm like, why are you I'm telling, money at this. Why are you telling everyone about our sex life? <laughs> <laughs> Do a sit up, you're ugly. <laughs> I've said it to you for years. You should so, never listen. I just watched this um, French movie called Titan that Aquafina suggested oh. that I watched. And um, there is a scene there, it's without giving too much away, <laughs> where she is fully having sex with an automobile. What? Mm. Like full on strapped on. She's fucking it. She gets pregnant by the automobile. Right. And I want to ask Has you guys. Has a smart car? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually an old car, which made it even hotter. But I want to ask you guys, have you ever had sex with an inanimate object? No. Or been attracted to one or saw a shape and said, you know my what? Roomba, that might I have like a, it's not a sexual attraction to, yeah, but I so. am able. I look at my Roomba like a pet. Like it has... <laughs> There's something about it that I'm like, oh, I can understand why people have robots and treat them like it's, I feed it and I'm like, nom, 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 Roomba. You, like you I name sleep it in, Yeah, well, I call it Roomba even though it's a shark. And, um, <laughs> but uh, I just, That's I so do rude. feel like I could have, because of my, like my relationship with the Roomba and like giving it a personality and really believing that. And even when it gets t tangled up in a cord and like in the morning I'll go to its dock and I'm like, Wait, where is it? And I have to go looking for it. And I see, I go, room. What were you doing? And I. Why just, don't you leave like a little bread trail so it comes to you? Oh, that, or like just co comes and sucks yes. my clit. But also, you know what I was I thinking? I do want a body Roomba. This is my. This is my image of you. I want you to get a dildo and like glue it onto the Roomba and oh then ride God. it, be taken around. Yes, on it. I. I do think I could be Wouldn't attracted be so to. Good? A thing, like really, a, almost anything, almost anything. You, you know, because the le this this is something I actually did say because that's a common thing you see in my, um, my strange addiction yes. or those uh -huh. shows where a woman uh, will get married to the Eiffel Tower, and yeah. although it, that's phallic, so she can she actually uses little um, the ones that you would buy at the gift shop. She would use them to like fuck herself, even though she's married to the actual Eiffel I Tower. I got right? Um, right. married on ecstasy once and we did Eiffel Tower that night. So I do kind of like similar. <laughs> similar Can you please remind those of us who didn't do drugs in their 20s what it is to Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower is not drugs. It's uh, when you're like. When no, I, I know it's not. Some, and then you yeah. high five each other while mm -hmm. you're it's and two guys, guys and a girl in the middle I think it could be girls honestly we should be girl like you with that guess okay while we spit roast this pig <laughs> but I remember <laughs> I always thought that I had a type of guy that I was attracted to like I have I have a um there's a bar you have to hit and there was a guy you're like recently. I also have a typewriter I'm attracted to <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> that's next for me there was this guy that I like fell in love with 
uh, despite myself, just like there was this, you know, the energy that people talk about that I was just looking at him like, I don't, there's, if you would have showed me a picture of like, I want to set you up with this guy, I would have been like, do you hate me? Yeah. Like I would have, my I would have swiped left so hard the screen would have cracked yeah. on this guy. But there was something about the physical, like just the energy between us. And after I was attracted to him and like truly turned on by everything he had going on, I was like, I understand why women marry Ferris wheels or like things that you could <laughs> never, it was, I was never imagine a woman is closer to what I'm a a guy that I usually am attracted to looks like than this guy was like that's why I was like I can date anyone it's it's not about physical it's about energy a million percent it's about the connection with the person how they make you feel how you make them feel like if they let you be like a full lesbian on podcast (laughs) yeah on the side I mean 